Are we live? We're live. Are you sure? <laughs> Alright, so good evening everyone and welcome. This is Twist Gaming where you get to play board games with us. This is our spotlight stream where we like to show off games that are just coming out into the industry, namely on Kickstarter. And tonight we have the pleasure of showing off a game that's about to go on Kickstarter, right? It's coming out uh, tomorrow and it is Adventures in Zombie Wood by Baskerville Productions. But first off, who are we? I'm Matt. I'm Anne. I'm Josh. And we are joined with our special guest today, Michael. How are you doing today, Michael? Doing great. And uh, Michael, you are from Baskerville Productions uh, with uh, Adventures in Zombiewood. Uh, you're going to be representing <coughs> them this evening and uh, joining us for our lovely excursion through this game, right? Absolutely. All right. So Absolutely. first and foremost, we would like to point out that this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by Adventures in Zombiewood by Baskerville Productions, as well as Tyler Sigmund's Crows by Junk Spirit Games. Round of applause. In a circle. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, Anne, I'm just going to hand it off to you, so you sure. can work your magic. Is there magic. I have to do the spirit fingers. I was very jealous of your These spirit, spirit fingers. fingers. These aren't spirit fingers. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Michael, we were just uh, talking a little bit about your love for zombie movies, uh, and Josh's love of B-rated zombie movies. I like all zombie movies. I just... Prefer? I, I have a very fondness for B-rated movies. They're just, they're very entertaining. So you've taken your love for zombie movies and games and shoved them together to bring us Adventures in Zombie Wood. Talk to me a little bit about how you came up with the idea, how you decided to make it a game. Uh, well, uh, again, I had a passion for, for zombies and zombie movies for a long time, uh, and uh, certainly a big fan of board games, card games, dice games, and specifically co-op games. I like, uh, like the working together, the strategizing together. Uh, and so those two things, uh, you know, making a game that tried to pay homage and give as many references to zombie movies as it could, it seemed like a fun fun way to like tell your own story, but at the same time, you know, if you are zombie fans, you can almost try to relate it to other zombie movies that you know, or in this, in this uh, game, you can almost act like you're making a remake of your favorite zombie movie, so then you're going to shoot the same scenes as you would have seen in that movie of your, that's your favorite, and you can just, you know, make up catchphrases, and you can you can just tell an entire story if you want to, uh, while you're just playing a simple dice rolling cooperative game. I'm excited. It's co-op. That's really cool. Where? I can't screw you over. <laughs> That's not true. He'll find a way. <laughs> uh, tell me about some of, I, I mean, tomorrow the Kickstarter goes live, and one of the things that you mentioned that you were really excited about for our audience is the opportunity for the backers to put themselves into the game. Right. And you have right. a couple of examples in the cards that we have now. Um, this card came up? Uh, Nicole, you might need to re-enable it. <laughs> It'll be up in just a minute. Yeah. Uh, so, how is that tier working out on your campaign? How is that going to happen? So, uh, there's actually a couple tiers where people will have the opportunity to submit uh, images of, the, of themselves, uh, and then we will take that image and convert it into a zombie. Uh, and actually, in this game, we have two different needs for zombies because you're going to have, oh, she's a camera right now. Moment. You have this uh, actor card here. This is the kind of card you'll be. Oh, there you go. That uh, you'll be playing with in the game. Those are your actors you're you're possessing to to fight the zombies. But if in the game an actor fails to defeat a zombie, you can actually flip that actor card over, and on the back of that card is that specific actor as a zombie now. And so that actor is no longer an actor for you. He has now joined the zombie horde, and you will see him again uh, later on in, in the game itself. Uh, but now you, he's no longer at your disposal. You've lost that cast member uh, moving forward in the game. So there's that aspect of it, of being in the, uh, a zombie in the game. And then there are the just actual zombies themselves, the ones that uh, there's an entire deck of. Those are the ones you'll be facing in the game, the ones you'll be spawning. And there's another one. That's one of my favorites right there. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, you'll be seeing those guys every single uh, scene, from those yeah, and... Uh, and taking them on. So we've got two, two big tiers there. Uh, one is that kind of zombie, which you can be a zombie in our game, and there are still going to be some uh, slots for the what we call the actor zombie. So the actor front side and zombie on the back. About how many slots are going to be available for either tier? Uh, so for the actor slots, uh, we've actually been uh, uh, getting interest from those and actually already sold several. So for our Kickstarter, we have 25 remaining spots. 
to be actors in the game and a zombie on the back. Uh, our zombie deck hasn't been selling because everyone wants to be an actor in the game. So we actually have our full uh, zombie deck available still, which leaves 64 slots. Oh, wow. Okay. A lot of opportunities really to be a zombie cool. then. Yeah, I mean, the art for the zombie art is, is pretty cool. Um, do you have the name of the artist who's been doing the transformations, if you will? Uh, so we've got uh, actually kind of a group of artists. Um, everything that is not the zombies uh, is being done by uh, Gary McCluskey. And then the, uh, the zombies themselves is by uh, an Ivan that we, uh, we know locally. Very cool. Uh, so is this the first, is this your first design? Have you designed other games prior to this? Uh, we've done a little bit. Uh, there, was, there was some very, very small runs. Um, Cook actually is nothing but a card-based game um, with a small have a card drafting mechanic that we did uh, make a run of, I guess, three or four years ago, uh, but never went to Kickstarter, never did anything mass-produced. Um, <coughs> but this is our first venture in Kickstarter, uh, certainly uh, with a game of this size and the components. And uh, with our Kickstarter, you, you can look at our, our stretch goals. We do have some... Uh, Definite hopes and dreams, or we can upgrade some components to be some really cool pieces uh, in, this, in this final product is our, our final goal. Very exciting. This must be incredibly exciting for you to see a theme that you're really passionate about, a hobby that you're really passionate about, come together and go up onto Kickstarter. You must be really, you're feeling like the pre Kickstarter oh, anxiety, absolutely. ready to go? Absolutely. It's like having, you know, given birth to this this child in a sense because you know I've seen it from its infancy. I've seen it when it was on index cards and hand drawn and, and then the, the dice with the stickers on it upgraded and, and uh, yeah then putting together all the, the assets and the this is basic things like the advertisements for the for the, the game components like seeing that or taking the first stock photo of a prototype I was like oh my gosh this is it's actually like a happening for me that we put together and yeah it's it's been quite an experience especially this last a couple of months doing the uh, some big, bigger conventions, going to Gen Con even to, to be have a presence there. And so, yeah, we've really, it's been a fun ride for sure. A long one, a fun one. Very cool. On that note, I'm excited to see this game. I am too. I, I think I we can't should delve into it. it. Let's, let's start jumping into it. Uh, so, Michael, can you take us through a, a brief overview of the game as a whole, and then we'll start uh, dissecting how to start up the game? Absolutely. So, uh, as we've kind of been mentioning, this game, this, uh, game has the homage and the uh, movie theme to it. So the idea is you, you guys decided that you want to shoot the most realistic, intense uh, zombie movie ever made. And so you decide, all right, we're going to call it the uh, casting agency. And we're going to ask, all right, we need you guys to send us your most convincing zombie act actors that you've got. You kind of well, like the zombie. Is, Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, the problem is the agency must have missed that word of actors because they just sent you actual bombs instead. <laughs> so you've got actual members of the undead for your zombies. Okay. And that, that could come, cause a problem. Was a problem. Uh, some people might look at that and say, oh, I don't think this is worth it. Maybe we should just uh, scrap this mic and leave it on the cutting room floor. But uh, you guys see these zombies and you realize, oh, we'll, we'll put a positive spin on it. Uh, this just saved us money on makeup and special effects. There you go. Yeah. The, uh, the show must go on. Let's go. Save so much money. It's the glass oh, half full so, approach of things. Really. So cute okay with this idea. Absolutely. What could go on? You, you gotta find the find the plus side. But uh, so yeah, the, the game itself uh, is cooperative. We said, as we said, there's a there's a strategy phase or part to it where you're discussing what you want to do and what each of you are gonna do. Uh, but then when it actually comes down to doing the things, uh, everyone is taking their own turn, essentially rolling their own dice and ultimately making their own decisions, uh, what they're going to do with their actor they've got in front of them. So it's cooperative and yet kind of individualized uh, decisions and turns. That's where you're going to uh, find your opportunity you to mess tell your, your movie, you're going to go through a total of three locations. Uh, we've got about 20 or so, hopefully even more by the time the game is done, uh, 20 locations in the deck. So you can pick any three you want. Um, you can you know, make up your own story, or like I mentioned uh, earlier, you can even uh, decide on three locations that you think kind of summarize your favorite zombie movie, and so you're going to make a remake of that zombie movie instead. That's pretty uh, cool. <clears throat> but uh, I, either way, each location does have some kind of a twist, or uh, maybe even like an additional uh, small game 
mechanic that can just change what's going on while you're there at that location. Uh, some of the mechanics are actually beneficial. They're nice things that you want to take advantage of. Uh, others are not nearly as nice. And then there's a the couple that are just straight up brutal because it's a zombie movie. So, you know, if you want to make it brutal, you can make it brutal. Uh, but yeah, so the, the, you can pick those locations. And again, like I said, they're <coughs> homages to uh, the, the movies that that location could have been uh, uh, featured in. And uh, I'll say the hardcore zombie fans can probably look at most of these locations and based on the flavor text and the little title it's given and then the, the mechanic itself, they can probably figure out which, which zombie movie it's, it's being loosely you know, on. That's cool. I like that well, you took the movie. I, I, I like, I know we even touched on a couple of the cards and things, just showing and kind of flipping through the deck, and I, I'm really excited to see. I mean, I'm sure I won't get the references, but he will, and he'll tell me, and that'll be fun to see Josh get excited. And you'll like, appreciate them secondhand. I'll appreciate them secondhand. Vicariously through you, I will appreciate it. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so yeah, you've got the three locations picked out, and then uh, up there on the screen I see the, the casting call specific cards in that deck. Uh, there should be the uh, one, a two, a two, and a three. If you're going to face uh, a total of four scenes, what we call them, basically four rounds. And uh, each round, you're going to face a certain number of zombies. And then after each round, your actors that you've got will have the opportunity to scavenge. Uh, you're hopefully going to be picking up some extra items and weapons along the way. Uh, and definitely, the, the, the hope and the goal is that you can actually kind of stockpile so that uh, you are more prepared for the later rounds, later locations, because it definitely amps up in difficulty as well. Uh, but that's the goal. You try to stock up as you go. And then once you've cleared all three locations, you need one of the, the four scenes, then you're ready for your big finale at the end. And so, like I said, hopefully you have uh, hoarded up those locations because you're going to be taking on the horde that's accumulated throughout the, the movie. Okay. Uh, there's various ways those zombies can end up there, whether they go there automatically or uh, if you unfortunately lose a survivor, they're going to go there as well. So yeah. every single lost lost actor ends up in the horde pile. You two better not die. That's <clears throat> all I have to say. Now you've cursed yourself. <laughs> well, but we do want some people to die to get a better movie though, right? Uh, there's that mechanic to it. There, now, now, you have to ask that question if, if you're really embracing the theme entirely. Are you willing to let your friends that are with you as you're casting through that you're shooting this movie, are you letting, willing to let them actually be taken over by a zombie and turn into a zombie just to get a better movie rating on your final movie? Yep. So, it's, okay. also, it's also a lower budget. I don't have to pay them afterwards. I'm so okay with this idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is, they're, 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 I like it. I like it. <laughs> so will Andy the red shirt. You'll find out at the end of the game the more that... Uh, Sense. You're gonna die. This oh, thank so you. Good. Uh, so and then, uh, the, the mechanic that you guys aren't gonna be playing with, I think, to begin with, is that there's actually a timer mechanic to it. Yeah. Uh, the theme behind that is, you know, you guys are shooting a movie, but you're on a on a tight budget, and you, you gotta be uh, conserving your film and, and all that kind of stuff. So whenever it comes down to actually shooting that scene and you say action, you're flipping that timer because that scene is gonna get shot, and you wanna do it as quickly as possible. Uh, and your limited resources, so even the dice that you have to roll, uh, you have a limited number of dice to where not everyone will always be able to roll all their dice at once. So that becomes part of the strategy where you figure out, okay, who's going who's gonna to fight their zombie first, and then once they finish it, pass the dice over to someone else and knock them all out before you run out of time. Sharing is caring. Yes, absolutely. Aaron says, I'm not going to be the red shirt. I'm going to be the girl in the teen horror movie that runs upstairs. I don't think so. Thank you very much. All right. All right. So well, how do we... Yeah. yeah. So for, uh, for starting here, uh, each of us is going to get one of these uh, revolver cards with uh, three bullets, correct? Right. And what are those bullets used for within the game, Michael? Shooting your partner. So whenever you are fighting the zombies, your actor will have a given set of what we call combat dice. So those are those little red, blue, or green symbols that you're seeing there. So I would like yep. to point out that uh, we use a green screen setup here. So the two dice on the left are actually green. They're just transparent right now. So they're showing the purple in the background. We're playing. We're playing. <laughs> It'll come on here, right? Uh, yes, it will show up on the, the board cam there, so you can see uh -oh. that it is indeed green cards, I promise. Green die. Yep. So, uh, with those dice, one, one just small thing to note is that you can consider the green dice like the strongest dice. They have the most symbols that can be rolled, uh, especially the explosion symbol in particular. Uh, the blue dice are the medium strength dice, and the red dice are the weaker dice. 
And so every actor has a, a base set of dice that you can roll with them regardless. But then uh, the, there are items that you can scavenge that will help bolster that, that roll. You can roll actually up to six dice potentially um, in combat when you're trying to, exactly, trying to uh, defeat a zombie. Uh, I will also make sure I mention those dice you guys are rolling with are the fancy uh, anodized aluminum dice, not a part of the core game, but available as a, a purchase um, during the Kickstarter. Uh, but you're rolling to try to defeat the zombie, and the way you defeat the zombie is you are trying to match the symbols that are there on the bottom of the various uh, Z Liberty cards. So, for example, this is one of the Z Liberty cards here. So, this one's got two axes, a bat, and then two explosions. Yes, and those are all the, the, the damage type symbols you can see. There's axes, bats, and explosions. And so that's your goal, is to match those symbols to defeat that uh, Z Liberty. And uh, so the bullets that you, that you asked for, the bullets are going to allow you to re-roll uh, any number of dice that you want to re-roll after you've rolled your initial combat. Okay. So it's any number of dice? It, yes, any number of dice. Okay. Um, and then there is, this is a small active cooperative part of the game, because there's a cooperative in the strategy before you're fighting, and then during combat, let's just say someone's facing their, their Z Liberty and they have no bullets left, they're out of re-rolls. Another uh, player, if they have bullets in their gun, can't spend their bullets, kind of like firing over at this fight with the other player. Uh, the normal assisting, assisting rate is a player can assist you with one bullet to give you a single die re-roll. So you can make one die to re-roll using their bullet, but there are also some items in the deck that if that player has actually put that item on that survivor, that actor out there, they have that weapon and then they can actually give you two dice free rolls for a single bullet use. So okay. a little, little better assistance there. Very cool. Uh, <coughs> so we have the game set up. We have our three bullets uh, that we have. I'm going to shuffle this deck up a little bit, our celebrity deck. So take right. us uh, into the first round of action then, Michael. Well, we need to get our three starting cards. Our three starting yeah, so cards. The very first thing you do is you would uh, deal out your you have three scavenge cards each. Yep. The majority of those cards are going to uh, have just a small die symbol at the bottom, which is going to be a card that would add an extra combat die whenever you want to use it. Uh, they are consumable. You use them once, and they're they're discarded. Uh, so these cards Sword are obviously dice. not secret to any... Are they secret to us? Are they secret to our in friends? The, in, the, in the name of the cooperative games, yeah, I, most players always play with them just face up on the table right so you can see what each other has. So, so Matt, what do you have? Cool. Our instinct is to be like, don't I look know, at my cards. I know. So I've got some dynamite. So And boom goes the dynamite. So it adds two explosions. Uh, it's a one-time use uh, yep. to your rolls. Uh, then I've got a shovel. Can you dig it? I can dig it. It gives you a blue die in addition to what you've got on your uh, survivor card, your uh, player cards there. And then we, well, I've got a Winchester rifle. Uh, bartender, give me a shot. You get it? Huh? You get it? What? You get it? Okay. Uh, so that's one bullet can assist for two rerolls. So that's what Michael was saying before. Okay. So how about you, Anne? What do um, you have? I have a carnival hammer. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, no. yeah. So that, that is a green around. die. <laughs> it's not a transparent card? It is not a transparent <laughs> No? Oh. Can we add a transparent die to this game? I gotta keep <laughs> Then you've also got... Uh, I have a crossbow when a regular bow is not manly enough. I love that. So that also gives you one bullet assist for two. And then your final card is the good old-fashioned chainsaw. It can come in quite handy. Oh, man. Handy. You've got some solid, solid items there. So... Uh, before we get to Josh's, because Josh doesn't matter, yeah. uh, <laughs> are you are you able to use your teammates' items on your turn, or are you only able to use your own items on your turn? Yeah, so your items, we'll, we'll call them your player items, so they belong to you, okay. and so only your actor can use them, whatever okay. actor you have. Okay. Yep. Right. And also, uh, go ahead and mention, uh, there is a limit to two item cards that you can use on a given actor at one time. So you can't send you know, five items out there with them in one, one my, scene. My guy can't go with a crossbow, a chainsaw, and a carnival hammer because that sounds like a yeah. pretty great setup. you got to leave one behind, unfortunately. Two hands, so you know, two items, that's you know, kind of physical limitations. Fair enough. 
So the, the only exception to that is the star power cards. If you get cards that have a star on them, okay. those are considered items you take into battle. Those are just essentially like a currency. So you, those can just kind of stay back in your hand, and you can spend those. Um, and those don't need to be one of the two items equipped to an actor. Okay. Wow. So let's see what Josh got here. He's got some grenades. First. Nice. Shall thou take out the holy pit? It's probably a great That's idea. Good. Um, good. At the go of those grenades, I got not oh. one, but two pairs of sunglasses. Oh. You're so cool. Yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, Josh, are you going to wear both of them at the same time? Yes, yeah, of course. Okay. You, you would. Are they well, one up here and then one's up in the, in the uh, collar, right? One's going to be there, and then I'm going to do just deal with it where the sunglasses go on top of the sunglasses. Yeah, there you go. As I throw the grenade. Are they yeah. colorblind sunglasses? Um, maybe one pair is. Alright, so the stars are used for currency later in, our, in the game? Yeah, every single actor cards you get, uh, if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, is going to have uh, what we call a star power ability. And there's actually eight different actors in total, eight different star power abilities, and uh, each one costs a single star power to activate. Okay. So I can activate abilities. Yep. That's handy. Very much so. All right, is there anything else that you need to point out before we go into uh, round one? Uh, I think we're pretty good to go. Very good. Uh, so first up, we have to show... Uh, we do the scene first, or we do uh, dealing out the characters to everyone? So the order would be, uh, go ahead and get each person the first uh, actor there on the top of the deck. So every single scene, that's kind of the first thing you do. You see, who is your actor for this scene? You got to... You're playing a three-player game, so your cast will be three actors to shoot scene one of act one. All right, so, Josh. <coughs> yeah. This is you. You're Zip. Zip. Zip Murray. Travis, Zip Murray. All right. Uh, so you are going to be rolling two blue die and two green die. That's what you're rolling. Listen, I don't know who Travis Zip Murray is, but I can see him being Josh's, like, cousin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so... And yeah. you're sparkling Sophia. She's adorable. Usually the little kids in zombie movies are the best because hey. they're so creepy. I'm good with this. So you no, are I just you to be a zombie fan. <laughs> you you are rolling three blue die and one red die. Okay. And uh, you've got a special ability where all players reload one bullet. That's so cool. So if your star power is that, Josh's star power was gives combat dice to other players. So he can kind of buff other people up if he so desires by putting his sunglasses on. Uh, and I've got the one, the only, your name here. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be rolling one green and three blue combat dice. So I am shortchanged because the other combat dice have been uh, doled out. And my ability is during combat may change one die to any side. I don't have any star power though, so I can't use that. But I'll, I'll just keep this up here so everyone can see what's going on there. Um... All right, so we've got our actors doled out. So now it's time for us to show the uh, the scene off. Right. Uh, also, I noticed there you've got the outdoors location. So this is again, this is like your act, your first act in your movie. Uh, that particular location, we can still kind of actually uh, deal with the the game mechanic to it, even though the timer I think adds an extra bit of uh, suspense to it. Okay. But uh, if you want to go ahead and just read out the, the outdoor theme, so that will be dictating what happens these first uh, four scenes at this location. If you are playing with the timer, uh, so for those of our audience that are watching this video, maybe on your Kickstarter page, and are intending on using the timer mechanic, where does that play in right now? So the timer mechanic uh, is primarily used when you guys are ready to roll dice to fight zombies. Okay. And so all the stuff that happens before that is not timed. So you can deal cards, you can look at what you got, make plans. But then once those are, and you can even spawn zombies. You can even see what zombies spawn and decide how you're going to, going to attack them. But once you actually want to start rolling dice to attack them, that's when the timer mechanic comes in. And so there's a couple uh, of the location cards that have a mechanic that is somewhat uh, timer themed or intensified by the timer. Uh, and there's also currently one uh, actor star power ability that would be one that would be affected by a timer as well uh but other than that uh like you guys playing through right now without a timer it, it won't be a big deal uh with this location like i said it can still play out even though we're not using the timer sure. sounds good we'll just make a note that like this is where you would use the timer right as Absolutely. we're playing through uh so outdoors the soap oh, 
can I read in the front here? That's the question. I think I can. Yeah. My vision's good enough. Uh, the snowstorm obscuring everything around you. You know uh, they are out there. You debate which is more important, earmuffs or hearing what lies beyond your sight. Yeah, no one wants their ears to be cold. So you, you know nothing, Von Snow. So that clapboard symbol there, if that's on a celebrity when they are spawned, the next celebrity to spawn is not revealed. They are kept face down until the combat phase. And then during the combat phase, if the unrevealed Z Liberty is uh, that hand symbol, uh, send them to the horde and do not replace. And the horde is that big group of zombies for our final. The final battle. Okay. Well, right. There are uh, there are certain zombies in the deck that are that have that symbol, that handprint symbol, and if they spawn normally, they would immediately just go to the horde and wait for you there. You wouldn't actually fight them here in the scene. So they are, they're the background zombies that we're going to have to fight en masse later. Yep, exactly. And so uh, we are going to spawn the zombies for this round. So how many zombies are spawned, z -leverties? So that is determined by the casting call deck you've got there, which uh, should have the numbers 1, 2, 2, and 3. Two. All right. So you can just draw the two top cards from that uh, zombie deck. Okay, so the two top cards. So the first one's going to go face up, and that is the Starving Artist. So he's, he's pretty strong. Uh, so three axes, a bat, and two explosions. He looks, looks a little familiar. It looks very familiar. Yeah. I, I can't put my finger on it. I mean, I can. See, look. I think I can. <laughs> All right, so because he didn't have the clapboard, uh, we are going to spawn the other one face up, correct? Yep. Yep. All right, so then we got the Prima Donna of the Dead. <laughs> uh, and she's only an axe, a bat, and an explosion. All right. Okay, so starving artist here. He's got six. I think Travis can take him on. He has two green dice, which are supposed to be the most powerful dice. You got six symbols on there. You do have your grenades, though. I, so, I do have grenades. So this is the part where we're going to talk about who is which um, actors are going to fight which Z celebrities. Talk to me in specifics now that we're now that the cards are all laid out. Mm -hmm. What am I looking for in art? I know we got high level at the beginning, but what am I looking for? We'll take we'll take starving artist here. <laughs> what do we need to defeat him? Well, we need someone. Because uh, it's it's head to head, correct, Michael? It's one actor versus one celebrity. Yes. So we need one actor, whoever we choose, to roll three axes, a bat, <coughs> and two explosions combined on their dice to take him out. So that wait, so the person's got to have six die? Not necessarily, because the die, some of them, uh, give me a. a oh, have dice. multiple things. So like this one has two axes on. Right. So that would be and two axes. And this is an axe and a bat. Correct. Okay. And then on top of that, um, well, this should actually be two bats, correct, Michael? Right. That, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so the other thing is you have items, uh, your shovel, your dynamite, your chainsaw, that allow you to add dice or add effects to your pool, like the dynamite, for example. If I play that, I would, use, I would get two explosions right off the bat, so I would only need to roll four things in total. Uh, three axes and one bat in order to take them out. But they're consumable, so as soon as you use them, that's it. Correct. Okay. So it's about so if you use resources. a carnival hammer and your chainsaw, you get two extra green dice and roll six dice. What is the zombie world, the zombie wood icon on the dice? Zero. <laughs> it's, it's a zero when you're attacking, and then it's a thing that can trigger other other things on like location cards and stuff like that. It's but a yeah. swing and a miss. You don't want to roll it when you're so I think Josh expressed an interest in wanting to be the one that takes out this uh, starving artist. Because Josh here. is the tank. Is this really what we're gonna do? We're just gonna let him tank this? He's supposed to be the strongest one here. I mean, I'm I, I have two green dice, it. so I have it. Unless you're gonna equip your two listen, green dice. Listen, when you start arguing for why you get to play tank, I stop listening to you. Ugh. Uh. So let's leave that one for a second then. Who wants Prima Donna the Dead? What is the uh, director's 
So that triggers special events on the location. So okay. for example here, the scenes. Uh, so this was if a clapboard celebrity is spawned, the next ah. celebrity spawned is not revealed. But she was the second one revealed out of two. So then that's fine. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, I, I can try for that one. I've got my three blue dice and they're pretty good. Now, Michael, for your items, do you have to declare them beforehand, uh, before we get into the combat phase, or can you just play them during your combat phase? You have to declare them before you actually attack the, uh, or no, sorry, before the combat phase begins, because that way, with, with the three of you, one of you will be going out there not facing the zombie, but you would still need to say, well, my character went out into the scene, and they had maybe that, that crossbow, right, or the Winchester. If you wanted to have that in case you needed to use it to assist, you would want, you'd have to make sure you declare that prior to the combat phase, prior to the timer starting. All right. So, so one thing you could do is you could take the prima donna mat and could take the starving artist. I put my two pairs of sunglasses on and then give combat <laughs> dice to other players. You could. With my sunglasses. Is that, he, that is a thing. He's going to be Horatio out in the snowstorm. Did it there, say it wasn't sunny? There you go. So, and which do you have a preference for any zombie that you want to attack, or do you want to sit back and uh, let the two bumbling idiots uh, die? No, I think <laughs> that sparkling Sophia, who has starred in such movies as Minecraft and Frozen and Moana, Moana, Moana. Okay, okay, okay. I, I can <laughs> so dig the puns. I can appreciate so the puns. Happy. Uh, is going to take on the starving artist. Oh, okay then. And she's. What are you clipping to her? Because, because she's going out with the chainsaw. Because I love the visual of little Sophia with a giant bloody chainsaw. So I get a green. You can equip two different things. So you could. So you're going to take. You're going to take your weakest actor right now against the strongest zombie. That's you really want an exciting movie, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, yeah, your, your items are only consumable if they say uh, remove uh, from game after use, right, Michael? So, so the difference is those, when you use them, they get, in other words, like trash. They get removed from the game. Everything else that you use gets discarded because in bigger games, like four or five player games, that scavenge deck can get used up. And so to be able to cycle the kind of more regular weapons, that's still a possibility. But the big ones, those are going to be the ones that are, are not going to come back in a second time around. Okay, so if we use them, we still have to discard them into the, the discard pile. Correct. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. The, the only difference would be if you sent out someone with, say, the Winchester, that assisting rifle, and you don't need to use it, then you don't lose it. If you don't actually assist with it, you haven't used it, so you're fine. You can Okay, so what happens if I roll some of these icons, but not all of them? Then you have to either expend your bullets to re-roll, or hope someone can expend their bullets to let you re-roll, or you become zombified. Yep. This is where the timer comes in play, so you roll, and we're trying to figure out what we need to do. To figure it out. Figure it out, and you only have a, a minute to do it. That, that's how it works with the timer. So you're gonna use your chainsaw and your hammer? No, fine. I'll let you take him on. I'll. I'm not that's good. I'll. I'll, I'll do. That's the wise decision. <laughs> uh, I'll. I will go after Prima Donna the Dead. And I will watch. <laughs> you're, are you gonna equip your rifle at least? Uh, no. You could use your own bullets. <laughs> Did you forget who we were playing with? <laughs> okay, so it's a semi-cooperative game, apparently. <laughs> So okay, that plays. I see that there's the scavenge on the bottom, so will we be replenishing our... If you don't die. Absolutely. Yes. You, you gotta stick around. You gotta survive the scene to, to reap the benefits. So you're using both the chainsaw and the hammer <laughs> against the prima donna. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you were rolling six dice, I am rolling four? Uh-huh. You sure you didn't want to take the starting uh, Overkill. This oh. will be the bloodiest zombie death of the entire game right here. Just complete overkill. Because, okay, because I love the idea of her going out with, like, eight dice. But do you want to take out the starving artist with your six dice? No, because what if I don't hit, make the all three six? Then you can shoot them. Because I only have six dice. You can use the, the green ones have, like, three icons on them. F fine. <laughs> fine. 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 I'm rolling two greens and two blues. You're rolling. Dragon. If Dragon. I die, Dragon. It, you, you can use sure your bullets. The child can actually pick up the chainsaw. <laughs> that, 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 I don't know. That. So good. Okay. She might kill herself in the process, but... Right. No, 
No, she's, she's, you don't know this, but she was raped by monks, and she's a trained killer. I understand what you people don't get. Right. This. Now we have the backstory. Yeah. We have the origin okay. stories of you. Uh-huh. Now we're good. That's, All right. Yeah. Uh, you're going to use your bullets. If I, because you've convinced me of this, you're using your bullets if I miss. Maybe. No, not maybe, Joshua. Uh, that so, takes that out. Dan, what did you get? I got two... Explodies. Explodies. So you got that covered. A bat. Okay. And, and three, three axes. A hacker and a hacker. Yeah. There I you did, go. I did done do it. You done did it. I done did it. You killed the starving artist. I killed the starving artist. Josh, how about you? I, I also Wait. killed the uh, prima donna. I would like I... Michael to do a very convincing death scene right now. <laughs> very there, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> He, he died into, and became married. He, he turned into Mario. That's what his new life was. That's, that's good. <laughs> this is good. Okay. All right. So these are gone. So, and lose her Do I lose my items that I had equipped that I didn't use? So I had the grenades and the sunglasses. No, if you don't use them in the battle, so they would have to be declared prior to your role is the idea. So, like, if you wanted to use those, the double explosion. Okay. That, that's something you actually think. I'm using this okay. to resolve the explosions and then you're just rolling for the rest. Okay. So I have to so say it before. Items are used or declared before the roll. Okay. Gotcha. The same thing with the star items, or that's just kind of, that's just currency, right? Right. The star power can you can even just sit back in your hand, and then okay. if you want to use it, you spend it. Okay. Very good. All right. So. Happy, happy, slashy, slashy. Yeah. So we have killed the two. Uh, oh God, what's the name? The Z Z. Z Z celebrities. Thank you. Yep. I'm thinking Z yeah. actors. I'm like, that's not right. Because it's sad. All right, so we killed the two Z-Leverties there. They dead. Okay. Uh, so now it's going to be time for us to scavenge, correct? Mm-hmm. So the color of the icons on your cards uh, next to the scavenge phase is sure. going to determine uh, what you're rolling in order to uh, replenish your your stuff. So, okay. for example, mine is blue on the cards and red on the bullets. So I'm going to roll a blue and a red die, and what I'm going to get here is based off the number of symbols. So I rolled a ZW for the cards, the scavenge cards, which is a zero, so I don't get any, right? All right. Uh, but then I rolled a bat on the bullets, uh, so that's one, there's one symbol on that. Okay. So I'm going to replenish my ammo by one, so I now have four bullets then. Yep. All right, so, Anne, how about you? And Josh, how about you? Um. I got a ZW and a one item, and they're both red, so I could do it either way. That's for you two, and both ears are blue, so it's going to, you could pick and choose which one you want to apply to which. I would like a card. I too would like a card. I rolled a bat and a ZW. Okay. So a bat and a card. Oh, I got some shears. And then you are discarding your carnival hammer and your chainsaw. Oh! I wish this was tea, but I got coffee. What kind of coffee do crawlers drink? I don't know. Decaf. Decaf. Calf moon. Calf. Oh, decaf. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Who wrote the puns for this game? <laughs> you did that. That's a family effort right there. We're, we're all full of them, trust me. You know, I, I respect them. that. I do. You and your dad wallet love them. Yeah. All right, so what happens next, Michael? All right, so you guys finished the scene. You took out the... The Z Liberties have spawned, you did your scavenge. So those three actors are done with their scene. You actually just kind of discard them for now, put them off to the side, and you're ready to start the next scene. So you basically rinse and repeat. You now will get three new actors from the top of the actor deck. These are your actors for this scene, okay. and then you'll draw the next casting call to spawn the next set of zombies. All right, so who did everyone get? I got Coach Curtis. He has two green and two blues. I got the same exact thing again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, another assistant director. I got the next gen. Again, three blues and a red. I got Julie. Is that our Julie? <laughs> that is <laughs> our Julie. <laughs> That's our Julie. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Not to interrupt you, but does that mean that was Walter? Because I swore this was Walter. Um, it may be. It, Put it in the park camp. Is, 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 that, that's all. That is, is, that is this Walter? Walter? That's Walter. There you go. He was just uh, lazy enough that he didn't give me his uh, name and movies, so he got to be uh, your name here. 
<laughs> That's well, I got cruelly Julie. How did you get to? You better not kill her. I will call her now. <laughs> So I've got uh, one, that's one green and three blue die. Of course she's got a I green. I saw this picture, I was like, that can't be Walter. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that creepy dude with the sunglasses? So I was looking at the, the preview link for the Kickstarter. I saw Walter gave Michael a quote for the game. Oh. That's awesome. <laughs> so. Please. He has been so helpful just providing input, opinions, experience. The, the, over the, the years that I've known him, I've uh, been helping him for seven years now through a, a Gen Con and such with their... Uh, their booth and stuff, and yeah, they've, they've been super supportive. They're, they're, they're all great there. Great <laughs> they are. They're, they're something. That's what they are. That's Wally. Awesome. I will now be facing managing them. All right, so uh, time to draw the casting call card, right? Yep. yep. And, oh, we got another two. So another two uh, Z celebrities. This is the same outdoor scene still? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look, I, I feel look like there's, four the there's a little bit of deja vu. The starving artist. Uh, so again, start. well, this one's a weaker starving artist. Yeah. Uh, so he's got three axes and two bats. Okay. So we've got that one. And then we've also got another prima donna of the dead, but this is a little bit different artwork here. This is an axe, two bats, and two explosions for this one. So that's a little bit more difficult. Uh, so, time to discuss who we want to split up uh, to take these. Explain to me again, um, ADD, short-term memory, the star means... What? The, star, the star and the scavenger you use item? Your you can use your special ability. So, for you, it's oh, double your scavenger results. results. So, I'm not going to use that until later. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm going to keep my coffee. Um, so, cruelly Julie here, if I had a star, I can upgrade uh, two of my dice from blues to greens. So, I can... Beef up my attack. Yep. Can you use one of your stars to for him? No, I have to use it on my ability. Okay. My um, ability is to give one of my dice to someone else. So I can give someone a green die. I feel like Julie needs to be out in combat. I can go and fight Prima Donna the Dead really easy because I can throw my dynamite out. This okay. Makes me so happy. <laughs> so Julie, I want. I'm gonna fight Prima Donna the Dead with Julie. All right, cruelly, Julie. And do you want to take the starving artist, or no, do you want me to? I'm, you can do this. I'm gonna sit this. I sit this okay. one out. So Matt, you have all your dice. Uh, no. What do you need? I need uh, two blues. And that's it. What? I've got the rest. Can I gift my dice to him? Yes, yeah, so it's a community pool. Community pool. So let's see what I've got here. Do you want the red instead? No. Oh, you so I, I am using my dynamite. So I'm, okay. I'm blowing it up. I'm um, declaring that that's happening. Is there any extra blue dice? No. No, we're using them all. I'm not even going to use them. So I rolled uh, an axe, an axe, a blow up, and then an axe and a bat. So this this axe and a bat on the green, is that an axe and a bat, or is that uh, yeah. yes. okay. right. I'm going to have to spend one of my bullets because I rolled three explosions, and I don't need any explosions. You're yeah, good. I need to re-roll. No, because you have an axe and a bat and a bat. I did not roll that die. Oh. I don't roll a red. Oh. Uh, so I need to spend one of my bullets. Don't you get to re-roll when you roll the, the shot? No. No, no you have to spend so a bullet. So I'm going to spend one of my bullets here to re-roll my three dice that aren't beneficial. I'm also re-rolling my two dice. So, oh, I rolled all axes. Oh boy. So I rolled five axes there. But, uh... Can I use my crossbow to help you? Now? Did you declare that you were reaping? No, I didn't. Um, oh, I hope you die. So I could use an additional one of my bullets, though, correct? Yeah. Right. You, you can continue to go until you're empty if you want to. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot again. I'm going to also shoot. I'm How gonna many bullets again. did you start off with? A four. I All bats! I got three bats this time, so that's exactly what I needed. Uh, right. So Prima Donna the Dead is now dead. Wait, you Actually, started off with how, you started off with three bullets. Yeah, right. he got I one bullet. An additional bullet during scavenge last time. Oh, okay. All right, I have one bullet left. I have still not killed him. I need one more axe. That's nice. You have a bullet left. Did you forget who you were playing with? Okay, empty my clip. Did you get it? Yes, I got my axe. See, I had right. you had to have faith, and that's that's right. key there. 
So I am going to get rid of that dynamite. That's gone. Julie, you served me well. But uh, it is time to scavenge. Yes. Because we have successfully killed all our celebrities. Because we're awesome. I'm going to equip my coffee before we scavenge. What? Dog walk coffee. Ooh, that was a good one. Well, so go out there. Drink your coffee. I'm gonna go walk the dog while I go drink a nice cup of coffee. I am going to regain two bullets, and I'm also going to get two scavenge cards. So that's a really good scavenge for me. I gave I gave myself a bullet. It does out. I have a bunch of candy bars. You have two blues. Let's roll. See, look, I got candy bars. A necessity, a necessity for surviving the apocalypse. So you get two. Uh, um, two cards or two bullets. Well, I get two icons here, right? Right. And then I did my coffee, which is double my scavenge results. So you got four bullets. Is there a hand limit? No. Cool. I am, no, I'm going to take four cards. Four cards? Okay. Yes. One, two. I'm back up. I'm using that uh, hammer and uh, chainsaw combo. <laughs> so, Anne, let's see what you got. You got a tire iron, because it's time to jack some stuff up. I'm so dumb. Eh? Eh? That's good. Uh, a snowmobile. Also known as the <laughs> Zamboni of Death. That's good. Working title. Working title. Working title. Uh, we've got a fortified bus. <laughs> Protects from zombies. Removed from game once used. Not meant for children, ironically. So it, that basically means if you die, you don't get turned into a zombie. Exactly. If you put on an actor and send them out there, and that's one of the other cards that you can put on an actor, and as long as you don't fail that fight, it doesn't get used. So it's, it's like protection. Until the first time it's on someone and they would have otherwise been zombified, then you can consume that you can spend it, and the actor does not get zombified. Almost like a get out of jail so free card. If we get a really exactly. tough uh, Z celebrity, There's, there's yeah. only one of those in the entire deck. <laughs> and I got it. If we, and, oh, you also got an energy drink. That's appropriate. When your blood isn't pumping enough already. Yeah, that's appropriate. So the nice thing, though, is if we get a particularly difficult celebrity, you can just uh, toss someone out there as a sacrificial lamb, not worry about them being I, added to the horde. That's uh, after I choose to throw you out to the horde. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you. All right. So after we scavenge, we're going to get three new uh, actors. Stop. I'm going to go on my Zamboni of Death, holding two tire irons, and I'm going to grow a third arm out of my belly, drinking the energy drink, and I'm going to be on like a monster commercial. It's going to be so Here, good. Pick one. That sounds like a Little Spice commercial. Yes. Look at your man. Now back at me. So I got Clinton the Finisher. That's, that's good. Uh, that's three blue die and one red die. And I have the double scavenge results on my uh, ability. So, Anne, who did you get? Um, I got your name here. Ah. I have three blue die and a red die. Okay. Uh, my uh, job is effects supervisor. All players reload one bullet, but I don't think I'm going to waste my energy drink on that, because um, I hate you all. I also have an effect special, and this is Mathis Maximum. Matthias. Matthias? Maximus. Maximus. Uh, Why I can't speak. Why would we give him stuff to read? You know, I don't know. That's a good question. She gave me your name here. So what, what dice are you rolling? Uh, three blue and a red. Three blue and a red. Okay, so we're all rolling three blue and a red. Okay. So no one is stronger than anyone else. I can so, add a items. blue die to my thing, or a grenade. Alright, so time for the casting call. We only got one this time. So that means there's three next time. Yeah, next time's going to be three. Right. So we got one. We're going to draw Prima Donna the Dead. Uh, three axes and one explosion. No. She got the cop board. But there's... This is the only zombie. Oh, there's only one zombie. There won't be another yeah. one. Uh, so Prima Donna the Dead, that's who we're fighting right now. And who wants, who to, wants to fight her? Um... Who can add what? I can add a red die. I can add a blue die. I could add a blue die as well. I've got the most bullets, so it might be beneficial for me to go and do it. Okay. Go we'll kill it. Okay. So I'm going to equip my shovel. I can dig it. Can, can you dig, dig it. it? So I need uh, two more blue die. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, one more blue die. Yay! Yay. Okay, so let's see if I smack her in the face with the shovel. I got bat, 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 bat. explosion. So who let you? Can we just? Maybe that wasn't great. 
you know? Bad, 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 bad. Jump, uh, explosion. Uh, they're pretty, uh, pretty small, just for the record. <laughs> so, so keep the red bat and the explosion. The red bat because the red's a weaker die. Correct. Yes, there's more misses on there. All right, so I'm going to spend a bullet, shoot again. Do it again. Does she, does she require any bats at all? She's only axes, right? She's only oh, axes. She's only axes. Oh, yeah, she's only axes. I thought, the, I, okay. thought I saw an axe on there. You did see an axe. You saw three axes. Oh, I thought... You I mean a bat. A bat. Sorry. So I got axe, 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 axe. Zombie. And a miss, but I got the axes. Okay. So I have killed her. Huzzah. Are you? So we killed all of the celebrities. Time to scavenge. So I am going to use... A new blue die, please. Uh, can you use two of your um, star items in one round? So if I have double scavenge results, can I double up on that or no? I, yeah, I know it sounds awesome to be able to do that, but uh, unfortunately, no. You are only allowed to activate your star power ability once per scene. That makes sense. So I'm going to use my candy bar here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I rolled I all, all, all the, the symbols. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get four bullets and four cards. Do you get double bullets or just double cards? It says double... Oh, well, your scavenge results. Okay. So I'm, I'm assuming I can't go beyond six bullets. Correct. Okay. <coughs> Matt, uh, can I get two cards, please? You can certainly try. So you're going to get two cards there. <coughs> and I'm going to get four <laughs> cards. Wait, read mine first. Why well, read yours first? Do I want to know? This is funny. Oh, goodness. So, and you got the darts. <laughs> Direct hit. Bill's eye. Sorry, Sorry Bill. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's so funny. Josh, what'd you get? I got coffee and that. You got an assault rifle for assaulting and peppering the future. I make that joke all the time. <laughs> oh, I'm glad someone shares my sense of humor. This is great. This whole game is your sense of humor. Oh, I got some Twinkies. I no, made snack cakes. Snack cakes. <laughs> Part of the balanced apocalypse breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, I've got a fire axe. As opposed to, I mean, C1, axe, axe one. one. Uh, I've got a revolver, so I can uh, do more bullets for assists. So we don't seem to be helping each other much, which is interesting. <laughs> hey, you know, semi cooperative at best. And uh, a scythe. So the undead don't fear the reaper. Uh, more cowbell? Uh, more cowbell. That's what it is. More cowbell. So we get rid of all of our actors, and it is time for the final scene. Uh, no, we're drawing the last three actors. Last we have... three actors. So let's let's give you that one. And I'll take that one. I'll t- there we go. Did you just handpick stuff? No, not really. Oh, no, I'm good at this. So I got a your name here, uh, but I got a green and three blues that I'm going to be rolling. And I may change one die to any side as one of my abilities there. So, Anne, how about you? Uh, I also got a your name here. Uh, she is a sound mixer, so if I use my energy drink during combat, I can change one die to any side. Uh, I use one green die and three blue die. You need to show this card in Cam, because they're in some of the best movies. I have Super Susan. <laughs> Super Susan! Woo! So, Super Susan rolls three blues and a red. Uh, she starred in Chumped. Project Runaway, Dying with the Stars, and America's Next Top Zombie. <laughs> so you got Prop Master, so you can double, double your scavenger roll results if you so feel. All right, so it is time for the last <laughs> casting call, and I have a feeling I know what it's going to be. Look at that. It's a three. So we're all going to fight a zombie. Okay. I'm okay. Six. So, number one, we've got the no-brainer entertainer. Yeah. <laughs> So that's two bats and two Where's, explosions. Where's the extra hand coming from? His victims. I like the star. Well, like he's, the his star. arm is also looking look to be ripped off there. It okay. actually is. Yeah. yeah. He's waving his own hand. Yeah. I'm gonna beat you with your own hand. Yeah. All right. Uh, then we've got the another no-brainer entertainer. So we've got three bats and an explosion. Oh, it's the camera. That's so cute. Oh yeah, it is. That's funny. And then finally, we've got. Prima Donna of the Dead here. We were really fortunate that we didn't get any of the zombies with the clapboard first. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a bat and two explosions. So it's actually, this is a pretty evenly dispersed one here. Yeah. Um, I don't think the one with two explosions because I'm going to throw my grenade at it. There's two of them with two explosions. Uh, the one with two hammers too. 
Okay. <clears throat> That's a baseball bat. Baseball bat, Tamers. Blunt object to hit things with. So, Anne, I appreciate you discussing your choice here. I, with me and... You're welcome. <laughs> this is how choices are made. I took Prima Donna of the Dead uh, forcefully because. You're using your snowmobile. I'm going to use my snowmobile, which is automatically going to take care of the two explosions that she needs. I'm also going to be using my crossbow, just in case you guys need help, because I already have darts that do the same thing. So, uh, for one bullet, one reload can assist for two rerolls. And I'm going to equip my fire axe, so I'm going to get an additional blue die for my attack rolls here. Now we have we only we, we have a pool of die, so I need. So this is where that timer would come into play. We would have to take turns rolling, but all within the allotted time limit. He's, but you're going to need die too. To take the two blue die, you're going to be one blue die short. But how is he going to use blue die, and he's got a when plus blue die? When you're done. When we're done. Oh, I thought it that's was what only the timer. A... <laughs> no, that's that's where the timer comes in. So we would have so to. So Matt, you get to roll your green die for right now. I'll just wait until she completes okay. her. So then, can I re-roll one of your rolls after you find out if you've killed him? If I killed him, you could take if you. All right, so roll. Oh yeah, that's a lot of misses. All the misses. That's <laughs> three misses and explosion, which I don't need because I use my grenade. Oh, she's dead. Go. Good thing you got bullets. So Josh, you're gonna have to Rudy Tootie point and shooty. Well, and I used my crossbow, so you can reroll twice. That's if you spend a bullet. You yeah, can... yeah, he oh. spent his own bullet on. I that spent one. my own bullet. Um, yeah. I will spend another bullet. I'm empty again. Why did I use my thing if you weren't going to use it? I, let's me roll more dice than you. Yeah, so that's an emergency backup. Yeah. Uh, I so got. If you, if you didn't spend the bullet to let him reload, then you can't or to re-roll, then you can keep that weapon. You don't actually lose it okay. unless you actually spend bullets to help him. Okay. So, Josh, I'm going to need uh, some blue dice, please. So, I've got my four blues and a green. I've got bats. I've got bats. So, on the blue, that's supposed to be... Two bats. Two bats? Right. That's a double bat. Correct. Okay. So, I've got three bats and an explosion. No-brainer entertainer is a bye-bye. It's not in the Born Zombie movie. No one's died so far. We tried to get Anne to die. You, uh, you guys haven't even drew, drawn a single uh, horde zombie yet. That's the thing I'm surprised with. Uh, so no one's gone to the horde yet. That, by that, means. Yeah, I haven't seen the horde symbol yet, which is my, it worries me a little bit there. So now it's time for us to scavenge. I need a blue okay. die, please. I need a red die, so I've got uh, I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm not going to read these sunglasses. So I oh, get double getting all the scavenge. I, I should have used some of my bullets. I get a scavenger card. I get two bolts and two scavenger cards. I got more Twinkies. Oh, I've got another egg. Oh, look, I got a pitchfork. It can bail you out of a jam. I tell you, you are going to... No, it's enough. Can I have two cards, please? No. Yeah. Reach with your little T-Rex. Let's let's see what Josh got. So Josh got a pool cue. Eyeball, corner pocket. Very good. And uh, we got propane and propane accessories. (laughs) Use one bullet insta kill. Remove from the game after use. Like a big grenade, sand the pins. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. Except Josh. Oh, do you actually have bullets now? Yeah, I got some bullets. Okay, I was gonna say, except Josh has no friggin' bullets, oh, but you know. I get my crossbow back. Alrighty then. So it's I'm gonna oh, reshuffle up the so casting call, and it's time for us to switch locations, right? Correct. And can you grab the So we are going into <sighs> Act Two. And let's see where we're at. We're going to the mansion. So we were trekking in the snow, and we've come across the first house out in this middle of nowhere, and it's a mansion. It's a very nice house. So the stunt guy is sitting over in the corner, not moving, not blinking. You okay? You ask? Just then, you notice a fly pop out of his ear, land on his eye, and then fly back up his nose. I think something's wrong with the new guy. Me too. (laughs) So we've got Release the Flies. Prior to the first scene, players may spend a collective star power equal to the number of players to remove one of their car- uh, a card of their choosing from the casting call deck for this act. So we can essentially, if we want, 
pile together three star cards in order to reduce this act by one scene. Yep. Do we want to do that? I'll put in a star card. I don't think we need to, though. I think we need more death. Yeah. You guys are doing all right. You guys are handling the puzzle right now. Okay. However, there is one more thing you have to do before you start this next act. And what is that? The plot twist. A plot twist gets drawn. Yep. Plot twist. We've got a bat here. So that means that all of the uh, Z celebrities are going to require an additional bat to kill them, right? Every single one of them. Yep. Okay. Adds a little bit of difficulty there, huh? All right, so we're going to leave that out for the world to see. Shuffle up the casting cards? Uh, I did shuffle up the mm-hmm. casting cards. So are, is everyone okay with uh, continuing forward with... Oh, what? No, this one. Sorry. That one. That didn't get shuffled back in. Shuffle it in quickly. Thank you. Uh, so is everyone okay with letting the casting call lie as they are? Yeah. <clears throat> and? Yeah. Because this is... You know, a cooperative game, and we can't just make a decision for everyone else, Josh. I mean, <laughs> it's his favorite thing to do. But when did it turn cooperative? I missed that point. All right, then. So I got Zip again, this Travis Zip Murray. So I've got two greens and two blues, and I can give combat dice to another player. I got the next gen again. Next gen, you may have seen her in Downtown Zombie, Dead and Prejudice, Project Runaway, or Dying with the Stars. <clears throat> uh, I have your name here. And he's the effect supervisor, so he rolls three blue and a red. What do you roll, Anne? I roll three blue and a red. Okay. So I've got two green and two blue, so I'm going to be the, the hard hitter this time around. All right. You so tank? I'm going to be the tank. So we're going to we're gonna bring out two Z-Liberties. And the old uh, thing that said if there's the blackboard that comes out is no longer in play. Correct. There's no effect for that now. So first off, we've got the undead understudy. I, li- I like that he's got the, the gavel in his head. Yeah, that's very cute. Um, Nelson and Murdoch. Oh, that's funny. Well, I don't get it. Daredevil. Uh, so he's going to require an axe, two explosions, and a bat. Keep that in mind. Okay. So then next up, number two, we've got the fatal finalist. Oh, he goes to the horde. He does there go to the go. horde. So oh, we have our first horde zombie. Eh. They'll put the horde there. And he gets replaced, right? Correct. So we've got a starving artist. For you, Matt. Three axes, two bats, and an explosion. Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. <clears throat> so we're gonna we're gonna have those two. I will take him. Okay. I'll take him on. And I am going to equip one, two, three. Three, four, five, six. I'm going to equip both my pitchfork and my scythe. Just because I feel like playing it safe here. I'm going to equip my darts. Oh, you want to do this one? Up to you. Um, I'll let you do it. So I will I have... equip my darts just in case. Alright, um, <coughs> I need four symbols on four dice. I'm going to add a blue die with my shears. Good. Uh, any extra blue dice or use them on that? I'm using them all. Okay. Uh, I think I killed him. I've got you did too. axe, 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 bat, bat, two explosions. Yep, he's dead. I think he's taken care of. Yep. Yeah, I need uh, two more blue dice. Two more blue dice. Let's see what you get there, Josh. You need two explosions. And a bat. You don't need a bat. I need the bats on every single one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So that's Man. two bats. I need to use a bullet. Oh no! What are you? Uh, what are you looking for? An explosion? Yeah. And I rolled all bats. I rolled five bats. That must be driving you batty. batty. <laughs> I guess I'll clip empty my clip again. There you go. I got one explosion. <laughs> Um, you just like having empty gun. That's all it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you so, needed two explosions. I need two. Um, oh, look at that. Did someone spend a bullet? I will spend a bullet. So my bullet is just for two rerolls. You want to give him another bullet in? Well, it's two rerolls, right? Or it's two rerolls with one die. And this it's is already dice. used. He rolled two yeah. dice. You can use one. You have six bullets, Matthew. You can. You could reroll a die. Make it count. Double axis. 
One more time. Make it count. Yeah, Josh. You, you can die. That's fine. You're All right. Good. There you go. That's, that's what we're waiting for. Eventually, it's the question of resources or goodbye actor. <laughs> Yeah, so he, he both, spent too much on him. Both the uh, undead, understudy, and uh, your name here. Your name here. Oh, we get to see your name here, zombified. There we go. Uh, Three axes and a bat. So they are going into the horde. To the horde. And the horde grows. So I managed to kill mine. We had our uh, first death in the mansion. So I'm going to scavenge. So give me another red die, please. I'm going to use my energy drink for my scavenge. <clears throat> one of my energy drinks. I am going to take one bullet and two scavenge cards. Yes! I've, I've got all the Twinkies. I am going to take two bullets So. and four scavenge cards. This game knows me. I've got two guns, a candy bar, and four Twinkies. It sure does. That's, that's pretty good. And I've so got a, that roll Friday night for you? That, yeah, that <laughs> sounds about right. So I've also got a defibrillator. Shock to the heart. <laughs> and you're all... to blame. You need the defibrillator after all those Twinkies. Why? <laughs> Frankly, Anne, I think that's a shocking comment. <laughs> and uh, Chad said that's adorable. Oh, adorable. Oh, no. Hordable? Hordable. So what did you draw, Anne? Cricket. Cricket bat. I'll show you how to play cricket. Quite the striking batsman. I get it. Do you know what movie I first saw cricket in? Um, yes. But I'm not going to let everyone at home know. Why don't you do that? <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, so, Casey. records. <clears throat> so you, oh, that, that's a nice Shaun of the Dead reference there. With the, the, Absolutely. The, yeah. Uh, the sound of violence. Ah! <laughs> That was so giggle worthy, it's great. Yes. A screwdriver is Phillips or Flathead better for eye sockets? That would be a question I would ask you. I think, I think Matt would go for the torque head? The torque's head? Yeah, yeah. there you go. Uh, and of course, <laughs> the ever famous energy drink. I'm all about these yeah. energy drinks. That You've got a lot so of items happy. there, Ann. I do. I've got a lot of Twinkies. <laughs> yes, you do. Alright, so then our actors go away. We're going to draw some new actors. Is that your new actor in? No. Okay. So let's... We you, know, one. you already drew three. Okay. Yeah. Put that back. Two and three. So I got Matthias Maximus this time. I've got effects supervisor, so all players reload a bullet if I spend my ability. I eat my Twinkie, and I roll three blues and a red. Who do you have, Ann? I have your name here, uh, who's a sound mixer. During combat, change one die to any side. If I decide to use one of my star items, I get one green and three blue. And Josh. I also have another sound mixer with your name here. So, same stuff. Same stuff. Uh, so then, oh, look at that. We're going to draw one zombie this time. Oh. Z uh, Easy. Easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And you're going to take care of it, right? Oh, maybe not. We've oh. got, yeah. So, we've got two axes, two bats, and two explosions. Okay. I will. Can I use the prop propane tank and have someone else use their bullet? <laughs> that is a legitimate question, but uh, the ways to, ways to find would be you'd be the one shooting the bullet. Alright, so I can't use my remaining Yes, you can, it. because I can do my effect supervisor, and all players reload one bullet. Oh, look at that. So, so clutch. So I'm going to equip my uh, propane tank. I'm going to I'm gonna eat some Twinkies and give everyone some ammo. Okay. So you had I'm one. Come up and come through eventually. <laughs> I'm gonna roll my dice and see what happens first. So I, I might not need to. This is true. Two axes. Four axes. He's trying five to axes. <laughs> two explosions and a hammer. I am one bat away, actually. Just blow them up. It's fine. Oh. Well, it, wait. He, all he's gotta do is re-roll. Right, but listen, Anne, he's going to spend a bullet either way. It's just a matter of if you want him to keep that propane tank. I do kind Someone of... Someone else could spend their bullet for me to let me re-roll one of these dice. I don't think it. What do you have to, to roll with that one die? I need one bat. I'll spend it. And there's... How much ammo do you have? Two you bats. Have six ammo? You re-roll your... Wait, Anne, you had six ammo? Yes. Do it anyways, because worst case scenario, I'm going to have to use my ability, and then you're going to regain that ammo anyway. So. All right. 
Yay, it's a bat. It's a bat. Yes. We keep the propane tank. Oh, oh. oh. Woo. all the dice. So I, I didn't eat my Twinkie. Are you trying to earn your points back after dying? Because you're, you're, you're putting a lot into killing this one zombie there. I just tried. So congratulations, Josh. High five. You deserved that one. That was good. A solid roll there, for sure. Right. So don't forget, time. don't forget the scavenger. Even if accidental. Accidental. Ah. Uh, I'm going to get two cards and no bullets. I'm going to get one card and no bullets. Oh so you're going to get two cards, Josh? Yep. Two cards, please, and a bullet. So I'm back up to six bullets. And I got, ooh, I got a glass of hydrochloric acid. The only way to drop acid. <laughs> Why did I sit next to you in this game? <laughs> and what did you get? Uh, a croquet mallet. Ooh. Mangler. Now that sounds like a weapon. You go. And we've got an IV pole. This will hurt a Emphasis on the wood. Josh, how about you? What you get? Got an umbrella. Uh, an umbrella. Not quite the shelter you're looking for. And a baseball bat. These things smell foul, so strike them out. No trooper there. That's why I put that one second for you. That just... was good. That was good. You can only use the umbrella if you waddle and talk like the penguin. <laughs> I don't have to sing the umbrella song, though, right? What's the umbrella song? Rihanna. Oh. Yeah. Yes, yes, you do. I want to see that. So we have to get rid of our actors now. Yes. So please throw them in the pile. And if you could deal out some new actors to us all, I want the top card. That was the top card. I'll take Julie. Oh, you get Julie this time? I will take Julie. All right, so I've got a prop master, so double, double scavenge results, three blues and a red. Do we have to declare before the zombies come out or after? After. All right, I might use that one. After. So, who do you have, and what are their abilities? Uh, Cruelly Julie has one green and three blues. She's the boom operator, so I can upgrade two of the blue die to green die if okay. I use my special. And then Josh, how I about got you? Coach Curtis, and he's the assistant director. He has two green and two blue. Very good. So, casting call time. Oh, three here. Three zombies. Okay. This is this is the the moment of truth. So first up, we've got the fatal finalist, but she's going to the horde. Absolutely. Uh-oh. Curl that horn some more. Then we've got the undead understudy. He's got three axes and a bat. Then we've got... Not too bad. Prima Donna the Dead here. Uh, so two axes, two explosions, and a bat. All right. And then finally, we've got the starting artist. So we've got four bats and <laughs> two explosions. You see who that is, right? Yes, I, I see who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think Anne should have this one. Yes! Oh! <laughs> Amanda, please Julie message Julie and let her know that she's taking on Walter. <laughs> so, Josh, you're rolling two greens, so I think you should get the tougher one. The guy with the axes? Yeah. And the explosions? The axes and the explosions, yeah. And I'm not sure if I would upgrade your dice to green dice, because there's right. more bats on the blue than on the green. Oh, okay. If, that, if I'm right, because there's double... Yeah. Double bats on the blue, where you only have a single bat on the greens. Cool. All right, so then I will keep my energy drink, and I will use my IV pole to add a, another red, mm -hmm. um, and I will also use my fortified bus. Oh, why are you using the fortified bus? Because just in case, what Just in die? case? Okay. It's a just in case. It's just in case. So I am going to... <laughs> oh, man. I'm a little concerned... I think I'm going to play both the defibrillator and the glass of hydrochloric acid just because I've got three blues, so that's a little on the weaker side. Do you think I'm overkilling it? That's that's my question. There's here. not many. There's only the double axe in the blue. That's so not, you're going to need the roll. That's not true. Oh, there's a single axe? Yeah. All right. So. I'm. I'll add. Oh, man. You do have six bullets. That's one thing to keep yeah. in mind. That is true. So I'm going to add one. I'm going to add the glass of hydrochloric acid because that's the, that's the only way to drop acid. Everyone knows that. All right. So who's going first? Josh, you want to go first? I need one more blue die if I go first. Oh, I'm going to go first. Okay. All right. So I've got axe, roll. axe, explosion, Did you roll ZZ. That? No, I did not. Okay. So I need to re-roll these. So I'm going to spend a bullet. And I'm going to re-roll these three. So I need an axe. You can re-roll. Any number. But if you're 
using a bullet for somebody else, they can only re-roll as many bullets. Okay. One die. Got that. Uh, axes and axes and bats. So yeah, I got, I killed him. He is very dead. All right. Can I have one of those blue dice, pal? You can certainly try. There you go. I need one more, one more axe to kill this guy. And, and I, I need rolled a blank. Three. I need one more blue. Well, Josh is uh, no. taking this precious time. Are you going to blow here? Use that blow. Are you rerolling right. any of yours, Josh? Or are you just going to die? I can use the propane tank to kill him, or I can try to reroll my two dice and see if I get the one axe. You only need one axe. Yes. I'm going to spend a bullet for you. Okay. So go ahead. I'm going to spend one more bullet for you. There we go. There you go. Alright. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's right. And those are two axes. I need an explosion and two bats, but I only have two die. Uh, on the blue die, the axe bat cross is supposed to be double bats. bats. Yes. I don't remember what I rolled the first time. Okay, well, whatever. So time. let's let's see what you do now. These are supposed to be double bats? Yes. Yeah, those are double bats. So I need a double bat and an explosion. Ooh, that's a tough roll right there. Very specific. The green, <laughs> if you roll the green, you have a chance to get some more stuff on it. An explosion at, or a double, or a double explosion. explosion, something like that. If you if you want to try that. So you got double bats, bat bat. So, okay, so this is my three bats. So what do you need? So my you three need bats four bats. Don't forget about that bat so over there. Four. I need this to be an explosion. Okay. There you go. Okay. Explosion. You killed him. Kaboom. <laughs> Julie killed Walter! <laughs> Yay! Well, it's like you guys just say, I need my knight to be this, and it's, that, that's what you roll. I mean, that's how you do this. <laughs> it's so good. So Anne is notoriously horrible at rolling, so that's even more surprising. Thank you, Andy Looney, for pointing that out. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go and do our scavenger step now. So I'm gonna need two blue dice so I can scavenge. But first, I'm gonna eat a tw you know I'm gonna eat my candy bar. I'm gonna save all my Twinkies because I find that funny. So scavenge time. Oh, that's horrible scavenge. I'll take a bullet. I'm gonna take two scavenge cards. The next one's gonna be oh look I got some coffee and some shades. So I've got. A full snack bar here. And what did he get? Start up for days. So oh, Anne, yeah. Coffee? Coffee. Coffee. And got a garden gnome. <laughs> I will go over there and insert a large gnome in you. Please tell me that's a movie reference, because that's very funny. I shall come funny. over there and insert a large garden gnome in you. I, I feel like I should get a reference there, but I'm not picking it up. The, do you know the old BBC comedy series Faulty Towers with John Cleese? No. That's where the reference is from. That now I have something to the, watch later. The, the, the gnome itself comes from uh, Return of the Living Dead. But, uh, ah. the, the quote comes from Fort Dallas. Is that the uh, Travelocity commercial? The Roman gnome? <laughs> so Josh, what did you get for your... I just got a bullet. Okay. So. Did it say something fun? Oh, you just got, I a, got bullet a bullet. I got a bullet. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. Never there mind. was no car. Alright, I, I got it. I'm going to insert a large guard gnome in you. Don't threaten him with a good time. Yeah. So next up, we're going to draw two Z celebrities. This is the final countdown, final round here. So first up, we've got, uh-oh, starving artist. Looks like your so your friend cute. came back. So axe, four bats, yeah. and an explosion. Oh, we didn't She's deal out our ass. Oh yeah, nice. deal out the survivors there. And then another. Oh this. Oh my. This is going to be tough. This one's oh gonna be man. Three axes, three bats, and an explosion. <laughs> so I've got the uh, the sound mixer, so oh, wow. I can change one die result to, to anything. I stole the prop oh. master to double the scavenge results because I'm really enjoying that. So Josh, do you want? I'll take the big baddie. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna use gonna your use propane tank. Propane. Yeah, there's there's no way Sparkling Sophia is gonna kill the big baddie without you, a propane tank. You could go after yourself. She could go after <laughs> herself. <laughs> That's a little creepy. So I, I'm going to attack. I'm going to equip my defibrillator. So I'm going after this zombie child with the defibrillator. Um, I will equip my records just in case you guys need the it. The crowbar? And the crossbar? 
crossbow. Yeah. And the crossbow? Yeah, why not? Let's see, let's see. I got two axes, two of these. Not even close to what I need. No, so just blow it up. So I'm just going to spend my bullet to there blow up the pre Madonna. Prima Donna the dead. There you go. Can you uh, can you do that sound effect one more time? I don't think everybody heard it. Was it? Did that uh, from hang tank explode twice? I don't know. <laughs> Give me some dice, please. What what dice? I'm gonna need two blues and a red. Have three blues and a red. Don't use them all. Uh, I only need that. So yeah. So I'm gonna roll three blues, a red, and a green. I need an axe, four bats, and an explosion. I don't know. Where is he? So I didn't get the explosion, so I've got way more axes than I need. I only need one axe and I've got like six. So I'm gonna keep the one bat and I'm just gonna re-roll everything else. So I'm gonna yeah, can I get the axe? No. Odds are I'm gonna roll another axe. Okay. So. And look at that I did. So I got another bat. This is not boating too well. I rolled an, a blank, another axe, and then a double axe. I have to re-roll. Um, the blue die is the one that's got the double bats? Yeah, the green die does not have double bats, so you might want to use that for the... Unless you get an axe and a bat. I would, yeah, I would use this for the axe, and then I would re-roll all your, all your blue. Okay. To try and get some double bats. Let's let's go for it, then. So You could get a bat and an axe, Matt, on the green. There is two sides like that. That's a double bat. So double bat. Explosion. I got my explosion. So I need two bats now. That's two die. So that's fine because it's the two blue die. So you have a chance yeah. of getting four bats. Yeah. And you'll so need I'm going to use my last bullet here. <clears throat> well, do you want do you want to empty it out or do you want me to use a bullet for two rerolls? Oh yeah, you got extra bullets. That's, yeah. that's actually a good idea. So I'll use my records. That's so sweet of you, Anne. She played you a sweet tune. I rolled one bat. So I have a one third shot if I roll one die. Yep. So should I roll? Should I re-roll one of the die or both of the die? I think just, just one. one die. Okay. And you wanna use your crossbow? You don't have to use yeah, your crossbow. Have to use you, you, you can just give me one. Oh, just one shot. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Double oh. bats. Okay. So I killed it. Oh. <sighs> we used a lot of bullets on this little girl. She was a shifty little girl. <laughs> Uh, so I am going to uh, scavenge now, desperately. I need to scavenge. I have two blue dice. That was good. Oh, I'm done. I should have used my sound mixer ability, and that's changed one die to any result. I could That could have been... With your 9,000 Twinkies? You could have saved like three bullets there. Yeah, good. Yeah, that might have <laughs> That's my fault. But I got two bullets back, one, two, and I get two cards. I also get two cards, two. and Anne also gets two cards. Oh, did you double your scavenge results? Uh, no, not yet. Hey, Josh, look what I oh, got. Oh, were you going to do Josh. that? Yes. Look what I got. Sorry. A lawnmower! I got a lawnmower. Uh, and then I also got a pickaxe. Let me pick your brain for a second, Anne. You can pick your nose. So, Anne, you're getting four scavenge and four bullets? Yes. So, I think someone's going to need to reshuffle this pile here. For the scavenge cards. Okay. Yep. Ah. <coughs> Josh, do that. Don't just look at them. Oh, so I'm getting pick? two bullets. Four bullets. Four bullets. So I'm up to six bullets. You and here bullets. are your four scavenge cards. I'm just going to show them off here. <coughs> okay. It's crowbar. Okay, that goes so off the set of Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Pride, like... Pride, oh, yeah, yeah, not good. Right. good. Uh, a banjo. Deliverance from Evil. <laughs> you got a candy bar. There you go, so you got another ability. And then a katana. Great weapon, and it makes that cool swishing sound. There you go. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. And then, oh, let's go in here too. So Josh, oh, no, what did you is, get? Uh, I really am in the mood for a candy bar. Like a monster and a chocolate bar. I've still got three Twinkies, a coffee, and some sunglasses. I'm in the mood for a hippo. Ah, I got the snowmobile. Can I get one? And the energy drink. Snowmobile and the energy drink. All right. So that was the final round. Uh, for the mansion. That, for the mansion. So mm -hmm. it's time for us to move on to the final location, right? Yep. So all the actors are going to go into that pool there. 
So let's the mansion goes away, but where are we going now? Oh, we're gonna finish it off in the super creepy hospital. Hostable. Hostable. So as you enter the darkness, you activate the night vision on your old camcorder. We could have just stayed in the house. Through the grainy, blurry screen, you creep your way down the halls, wondering, did I charge my battery last night? Josh, did you charge it? Probably not. <gasps> oh no. So low battery, sure enough. So when a clapboard celebrity is spawned, players must complete both the combat phase and the scavenge roll prior to the timer running out. So this is one that is not going to affect us because we're not playing with the timer right now. But essentially, if we didn't go fast enough, we wouldn't get to scavenge, and that would be uh, pretty awful. Really sucky. Yeah. Hello, hippo. Hungry hip. All right. So hospital's going over here. Hospital. And we get to shuffle together the... Uh, What's a new plot twist? We get another plot twist. And correct me if I'm wrong, it stacks with the other it plot stacks. twists. So the these... The plot stacks will be, could be very brutal. Yeah. So let's see what we got here. We've got an explosion. Kaboom. So we're going to need an extra explosion and an extra bat on both of the... On every zombie that we're and up against. That is the rough, rough plot twist card to draw. Oh god. That's that's exciting. That's very good. So uh, we are going to start off by doling out our actors now. So Anne, do you want to reach out and dole out the actors to everyone? I'm busy with my hip on right now. So we've got oh I got Julie! You guys are always stealing Julie. So I've got Julie, I got one green and three blues. Uh, and you got Clinton the finisher. You could double your scavenge results. You've got three blues and a red. I feel like you're just going, you're, you're cherry picking the scavenger ones. Is Last that... time I did this time was unintentional. So Josh, who do you have? I got Zip. And what is his one more time? Uh, he's the assistant director and he has two greens, two blues. Two greens, two blues. So let's see what we've got now. And it's time for the casting call. What are zombies? One little zombie. One zombie. While easy we, start. Easy start. While you pull out the zombie, we're throwing around these hippos. Can we just explain why these hippos are so awesome? Because they're delicious. One of our viewers sent them to us from... Just put it in the card game real quick. From the UK. So, we got, we got a treat from the UK from Happy one of hippos. our viewers. So we want to thank them so much for them. They're delicious. So, good morning, so we got the fatal finalist. And uh, look at that. They're a horde zombie. So, to the horde. Next up, we've got, uh oh, fatal finalists. Oh boy. Another horde zombie. Yep. Next up, we've got undead understudy. So he's going to be four bats and an explosion. So four yeah. bats and an explosion. Who wants to go after him? Blue dice are not actually that bad for him. Okay, so then I will go after him, and maybe I should add. Listen, I'm using my fortified bus and my crowbar. I don't want to die. And if I have the bus, I'm going to use it. You'll just drive off into the sunset. Yeah. Okay, so just the one. Yep. So four give... bats and the explosion. <clears throat> yeah, don't forget about your plot twist. One, two, twist. three, four, and a red. Do, can I, oh, I can get an explosion on the blue. On a red, too. Oh, geez. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and a red. So, I don't see very many bats there. I don't see any bats at all. Hmm, sucks to be you. That's not good. <laughs> okay, reroll. Redux. That looks like uh, you got a double bat. That is a double bat. And the explosion. And the explosion. So you just need two bats. Two bats and you're good. I can do this. I see a double bat. Yeah, I see two double bats. Four bats there. and another explosion. Actually, look, that roll you just did <laughs> actually completes needed. it by itself. Thank you, Mary. I pretty, really appreciate it. So you you killed the undead understudy. He goes to the dead dead pile, and the now dead, we get dead, dead pile? the dead dead pile. Now we get to scavenge, which is the most important part here because I am running low on stuff. Ooh, I rolled cool. double zips. I get nothing. Oh, double nothing. That's horrible. So I'm going to draw two scavenge cards, and I'm going to increase my ammo by one. So I'm going to four ammo. Use again. my candy bar. And I get four, so I get 
Two scavenge cards and two bullets. I got a fire axe and some grenades. So that's that's good. We're stockpiling well, some yeah. stockpiling some weapons. Should have gone out of the game. Oh yeah, the grenade should have been out of the game. Oh, that is right. That's right. So I got some coffee. So I've got all the coffee. I have. I'm actually starting my own bakery. I've got three Twinkies and two <laughs> coffees. <laughs> So we're going to discard our actors now, yeah. and time for a casting call. What's up next? It is two zombies. So we're ramping up nicely here. Absolutely. So uh, what actors do we have? Did you just cherry pick that one? You guys were cherry picking the whole that. time. He was like, oh, if you could have... No, actually, I'll take that one. All right, so I've got the effect supervisor, so all players reload one is my ability, and I roll three blues and a red. Uh, during combat, change one die to any side is the magic power of the sound mixer. I have a green and three blues. I have Super Susan, and she's the prop master, so I get double. And you roll three what? blues and a red. Right? Yes. What? Where's your mouse? Like, it's... Where? Okay, so our two zombies, we've got first... Oh, oh. The starving artist. Uh, so, <laughs> so, one axe, gonna, four one, bats, one ax, three, four explosions. Bats, three explosions. Three explosions. You know, like, that's, uh, yeah, about that. Where's... And we've also got the Prima Donna, the dead. Not too bad. Which is two axes, two bats, and an explosion. <coughs> so, Anne, do you want to get on your bus and just tank it? Just, no. Like, I'm dead? No, I don't, really. Take the bus. Because we got the Horde coming up, and that's when I'd like to use my bus. That doesn't make sense. Use it now. No, that's a theory. That, that is a strategy to wait and save the bus for the horde because then at least the first time you would die to a zombie in the horde, you don't actually join the horde. That's a that's a legitimate strategy. Okay, I'll give you that, Anne. That's fine. Does anyone have any green dice there? I I have a lawnmower that can give me a green die. Same here. I have things. You have a couple things. Green dice will be very helpful against that guy. Why is that? Because they're the strongest dice. You get double explosions on the. You have this one here, which is bat axe yeah. explosion. The floating bat axe explosion. There's a 50% there. chance to get at least one explosion on One, uh, one thing I will mention though, with this zombie you're facing, meaning the tougher zombies. Right now, he's tougher because you're in the last act location, so you're adding the explosion to the bat. Whenever you get to the horde scene, the modifiers, those plot twists, go away. So then he will just be. A six simple zombie. So right now he is the toughest he will ever be. If you lose to him, well then he goes to the horde anyway, and so does your actor. But if you wait and send out your your bus, whether you do or don't kill him, you know, then at least you don't die. And then he goes to the horde, and then when you see him next time, he's only a six simple zombie and not an eight simple zombie. So there's there's that too. Might want to get on your bus there, Ann. Might want to get on my bus, yeah. It, is it the long one or the short yeah. bus? Use the bus with the chainsaw. Or the ban- oh, the banjo bus. Banjo bus. Banjo bus. Alright, the band's going on tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tour bus now, I love it. Man, that was funny. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> uh, so who wants to fight the prima donna the day? Uh, you can. I can? Okay, I'm glad that you gave me a choice there. Um, I have the double scavenge results. I'd rather Super Susan not die so we can get... Some more resources for the horde. That makes sense. I'll, I'll accept that answer. I don't think that you're using... So are you going to use the assault rifle? Sure, I'll use the assault rifle. I'll assault and pepper. Assault and a pepper rifle. So I'm going to use the... Uh, I don't want to use the lawnmower. I'm going to use a fire axe right now. So I'm going to wait for Anne. Okay. I got a three. I don't know if it's going to matter. Sure. So you got the one of each, but wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, that actually works. Yes, it does. Thank you very much. So now you've got your axes covered, you've got your explosions covered, and you've got one of your four bats covered. So you need three bats to kill them off. Okay. I do have a bat, but it's a bat on my blue die, and I think that I should re-roll all three of my blue die. Fortunately, I have six bullets, so I'm going to use that to re-roll my... Blue die. I only have one bat. I'm going to reroll it again. Okay. I have faith in you. Heart of the dice. No, you could have done that. Yep, you sure could have. Nicole, can you? Thank you. Uh, that's a double bat. So there you go. 
you have killed him. Do uh, I? No, she needs one more bat. One more bat. She does? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, she does. So and, what's, and, her, and, what's her actor? What's her actor ability she's got? But I have, to spend an, I have to spend an energy for that. So? It's better than spending all your bullets, no? No, because I get my bullets really quickly. All right, if I got it, if I got it... Look, okay. I got my bats. You all got right? all the bats. I got all the bats. All right. Okay. okay. Also, I'd like to point out that while I lost my banjo on tour... The buses, the, the band still has their tour bus. That's right. That's and I right. took and I took him down. He didn't go to the horde. Wait, let go of the dice. I need to roll still. <laughs> Josh is like. Need to roll. Who do you need to roll? I just try to make it magic. I'm trying to make it better. All right, so I got the two axes. axes. I've got my one explosion. So I just need two bats. So I will spend a uh, a bullet to re-roll. They were dry. And look at that, I got my double bats, I got some more bats, and then I've got a bat and an axe. So yeah, he's, he's very dead this time around. So there we go. I, I killed him. So we did it! We did it. I am going to spend my sunglasses right now, and we're all going to gain a bullet. Yes! Because I... You guys are so nice. Oh, I think that's why you're doing it. <coughs> Alright, I am going to drink my energy drink to get double my scavenge. And I am scavenging as well right now, so let's see what we get. I got a two and a one. Two so I'm going to get two scavenge cards. So I got hydrochloric acid and some darts. Bill's eye. Sorry, Bill. Uh, can I get two bullets and four cards? Still fine. Two bullets? Yep. And that brings you four cards. One. Got a candy bar? I'm sure. And what else? An energy drink, a coffee, and some records. So I got all the stars right now. So uh, since this is supposed to be out of the game. Keep in mind, you can only spend one star per yes. uh, round, so you might as well start using them up. Yeah. Now when it comes to the horde, the, the, the term, or the, the, the use of it essentially comes one star power per zombie encounter. So as you, okay. as, as, uh, you guys are fighting your way through the horde, you can actually, if it, if it applies, you could use one per fight. Uh, now, the also, also the thing with the Horde, though, is there are no scavenge spaces in the Horde, so you're going to go in with what you got, bullets and items. Uh, so really, the only star powers that are useful are the ones that we need during combat. Gotcha. So, so it's our, uh, cast distribute song. some... Well, we're going to distribute our actors. Okay. Let's see who we got. And I am going to get Sound Mixer, so I can change one die. I roll a green and three blues. I have the next gen, who's a prop master. That's a double scavenger results. And I have your name here, sound mixer. <clears throat> what dice do you guys roll? Green and three blues. Three blues and a red. Okay. So, time for the casting call. Two zombies. So we're, we're ramp we did it exactly in order. One, two, yep. two. Perfectly sequenced here. Wonder what's next. So first up, look at that. We got one for the horde. Oh, oh, yep. That's That's a tough one. Three axes and three bats there. It's a six, yeah. Uh, then we got a prima donna of the dead. Creepy zombie oh, child. Oh, that's so good! That's adorably evil. So, no, I, no, I'm not attacking the children. We've got one axe, three bats, and two explosions. And then next up we've got another prima donna of the dead here. Oh, boy. Ooh. Two axes, four bats, two explosions. Draw all sixes here, my gosh. Woo! Matt, you want to take that, that toughie? With the what, one what's your ability? Change one die to any side. Me too. We, we got the same thing going on, but you have some better equipment. Okay. Because I can add up blue die, that's about it. I can add red die, which isn't that great. So I will, I will fight him. I will put out my crossbow. Thank you. And I will fight the other one. And I'll use my snowmobile and my baseball bat. I'm putting out my lawnmower. I'm, I'm throwing the lawnmower out You there. want the green die? Yeah. You got a lot of bats. Well, fine, I'll put out the blue die. I'll, I'll put out the pickaxe. Why don't you put out both? Why not both? So, okay, so I'm going to go with a lawnmower and a pickaxe. I'm doing some heavy yard work here. Do you really want to use the green now, though? What about the horde card? The horde. Like that guy's harder than anything we'll find in that horde. That is because of the modifiers now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to roll now, so I need three blue die and a green die. So I need two more blue die and a green die. 
thank you. So let's do what we get here. You sure. guys think I'm gonna do it? You can change one of your dice to whatever you want. Yes, I sure can. By eating my Twinkies. Or drinking a coffee. Okay, so I've got double bats. I've got double bats. So all my bats are taken care of right there. Okay. I need three axes, so I got one, two axes, and like I've got that. two explosions. So what are you short? I'm short one axe. Uh, change your blue to a double axe. Because you have a bat on the green? Because I've got my bat taken... Wait, change... The blue single axe to a double axe. Can I get a double yeah. axe on that? Okay, so I will, I will eat... A, I will drink a coffee, and I will make my single axe a double axe. Excuse me. Coffee. I'm going to eat some coffee. Coffee. So I killed the prima donna of the dead with my venti chai. I need four blues... No water. <laughs> I need four blues, please. Four blues. And now you can get the pumpkin spice flavor in the venti chai. I'm so happy. You have no idea how happy I'm right? All right. <clears throat> so what did you need and what did you roll? I need one axe, three bats, and an explosion. So I see two double bats there. Mm -hmm. You have a double bat. I have an axe and a bat. I can use... No, that's a double bat. Oh, that's a double bat, sorry. I have a double axe that I can use. You don't need a double axe. You don't axe, need a double axe. I only need one axe. I only need one axe. I just need two explosions left. So I can use my... I can drink some coffee, too. And you can change your green die to a double explosion. Yep. There you go. Bam. Bam! Bam! Well, the kid's dead. Okay. And uh, I used my baseball bat on that kid. Here you go. Can you not? <laughs> can you not? I mean, that's so what I had on me. You had to do it. You got to do what you got to do, man. So it's time for us to go scavenging. Yes. Oh. So I'm going to roll a blue and a red. So unfortunately, I don't get any bullets, but I do get two scavenge cards. I also get two scavenge cards and one bullet. We are burning through these scavenger cards. Yeah. So, Josh, I'm going to need you to I take that you. one and then uh, shuffle that, please. I got pitch work. And I need, uh, I need my next actor. And I drew a candy bar. And a, a candy bar and an IV pole. It's really the, you know. Trying to talk to you about your dietary habits. That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got, some, I got three pairs of sunglasses now. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to open up a sunglass hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I could barter you some Twinkies for some sunglasses. Because I've got all the Twinkies. And Anne's just got everything. Anne's got all the weapons. My <laughs> God. And an arsenal. I, I just realized that how many weapons you have. Okay, so just so you know, <laughs> Anne's got, for green, additional weapons. Yeah. She's got a katana, a chainsaw, and a carnival hammer. Yeah. Then for blue weapons, she's got a garden gnome, a scythe, a shovel, and some shears. <laughs> and then for red weapons, she's got a defibrillator, a croquet mallet, a tire iron, a screwdriver, and a cricket bat. So she is officially hoarding for the horde. That's what she's doing. She is. Okay. She, she's a hoarder I don't know if you can even use all those dice by the time you're going to get to the horde, but we'll see. Uh, I have three pairs of sunglasses, a chocolate bar, and an energy drink. Uh, with Sorry, my, with my records, my snowmobile, a pool cue, an umbrella, and a pitchfork. And a salt rifle. What? A pool what? Cue. 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 Yeah, cue. That's pretty cue. That's <laughs> So All right, cool. so I've got uh, prop master, so double or, double the scal scavenge scavenge results, and I roll three blues and a red. Josh, how about you? I have coach, <laughs> coach Curtis, uh, assistant director. What do you roll? Uh, two greens and a blue. Two blues. <laughs> and Matt's gonna die from diabetes. I got the next gen again, uh, who again is the double scavenge results because she's the prop master. I get to roll three blues and a red. And as for the casting call, <laughs> you guessed it. Care roll. We're gonna get three zombies. Oh, wow. So okay. this is this is the the toughie. So first up, the no brainer entertainer. That looks familiar. That's so good. Uh, so we're gonna need one axe, four bats, and an explosion. Does that be good for one of you guys? Because you both have three blue dice. Yes. Then we've got the fatal finalist, but he's a horde zombie. Yep. Then we've got a no-brainer entertainer, three axes, two bats, and an explosion. I should be able to take care of him. I got you. It'll be fine. That's I got what Josh said. Uh-oh, another horde zombie. 
Oh, it's growing. You know, this horde is actually a lot beefier than I thought it would be. And then a no-brainer entertainer here. So we've got an axe, two bats, and three explosions. That three explosions is rough unless someone's got something that they can blow up. I can use a snowmobile. You could run them over with a snowmobile? Yes. Oh, that's good. So That's who you get. You take that. Um, let's see. And I'm going to give you Julie. this. No. Why? I, because I have the blue dice. I can go for so the bats. I. You've got everything, so you can just equip like two <laughs> green things and just take them out easily. With I don't the... use the green ones before, but I'll use the red ones. Okay, that's fine too. So I'm going to go for Julie there. I'm going to equip myself an IV pole. You know, I'm also going to equip a uh, my Winchester rifle here, just in case one of you guys needs some rerolls. I'm taking my snowmobile and my record. Player. Oh, that's Liz, who's in chat right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's no real tower. So you're going first, Josh? Yeah. Oh! I only needed... One. One, but yeah, that works. Get double uh, bats. Axe and a bat, and double bats. That's, and more bats. Yeah, she's... You killed her. That was scared. easy. Uh... What's up? Use your words. I'm not sure this dynamite should have been in the scavenge results. I it should have not. Who grabbed it? I didn't use it. Who used it? I didn't didn't use you it. use it in the first round? No. Yeah. Did I? Yeah. yeah. Did I? I don't remember. All right, well, we've used it. I've just been holding it from the very beginning. It's, I think it's gotten used yeah. and has then gotten recycled. All right. I think. So we'll go back in the deck. Where's the trap? Oh. Th that's, these are the trash cards. All right, so, Anne, do you want to take care of yours next? Yes. Okay. Uh, I need all the dice. How many I dice? need three blue die and three red die. <clears throat> three blue and three red. That's four blue. That's four blue. There you go. So you need four axes, two bats, and an explosion. Because I'm coming after him with a croquet mallet and a defibrillator. Three axes. Three axes. Well. So the red die, that is an axe and a bat. Yep. And that's an axe and a bat. So and now I just need one more axe, axe and one explosion. And an explosion. And what you have right there. So that's, ooh, I didn't that. An axe and an explosion. And then you've got a double bat on the side for... Just in case. Batting practice. For, yeah, batting practice. So you killed him. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Now I'm coming after Julie, like a spider monkey. <laughs> uh, so I need another blue die, Josh. You could attempt to hand it a little bit nicer no, next time. You can't do that. So let's see what I need. I need an axe, I need four bats, and I need an explosion. Let me know if you need a bullet, because I uh, need to use a bullet. I got an axe, I got an explosion. I didn't think this one through. So I'm going to need to roll two double bats. Is that right? Um, no, I need another red die. I was supposed to roll another red die with that. Because I, I played my IV poll. Nah, it's a, it's a blank. That's All right. Fine. So my assistant director ability, I can give him any of my dice? So that would be, I think it says on there, does it prior to combat roll? Uh, it says during combat. Or during combat. Uh, yeah. Or, okay. But it couldn't be yeah. one, it couldn't have been one of the dice I used though, right? Right, it would have to be you giving up dice from your attack okay. pool to let someone else use in their attack. Right, so I can help you with that, Matt. Thanks, I appreciate it. I can help you with your rerolls. So I'm going to I'm gonna keep that axe. Do I want to keep this explosion? That's the question. Yeah. So then I'm going to reroll these three here. So I'm going to spend a bullet to do that. Oh, uh, well, that's one double bat. I will spend a bullet for you, Matt. Then you can roll two of those. Okay. I got an axe and a bat. So I'll keep that. So I need to re-roll one more time. You can take the axe away. The red one, right? Yes. Yes, I can. Because I only need one axe. That is true. So that Do gives you me an option. Huh? One axe. Oh, you need one more bat. Yeah, one more bat. And you want to spend a bolt for him? Thank you, Anne. But if uh, I spend oh, a bullet, no. he can only reroll one die. Yeah. Oh, well, I did that incorrectly anyways. 
Uh, I messed that up anyway, so we'll say that was mine. Okay, so then I... Give yourself another bullet. Do you want to spend a bullet to allow me to re-roll? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to re-roll the blue. That's an axe. For uh, real, Matthew? Three. That's a bullet. That's a bet. Yay, we killed it. Yay, teamwork. Yay. Oh, thank, thanks, Josh. Someone cares. Just so, not me. I killed Julie. Good job. And it's time for us to scavenge. Uh, I'll be using my... Ooh, do, should I use my last energy drink now? Or should, no, because I got all the stuff. I'm getting my double scavenge results, yeah, for sure. Because you need no, to... I, used to throw, I, I wanted to throw it at you. I wanted to throw my chocolate bar. Uh, I'm oh. going to get one bullet and one card. Look at all of the stars you have. I don't have anything to use it on, because you keep taking the pop people, and we don't use... Fr- look at that, another star. So I'm going to gain... Four, it up on everything. Four bullets, so I'm at max bullets, and then I'm going to gain four scavenge cards. Okay. Oh. To do, to do, we to need do. to use the energy cards on the final round for the attack options, right? Yeah. How many of those energy cards are you going to be able to use against the board? I don't know. <laughs> so I got an energy... I got myself an energy drink, a coffee, a lawnmower... For a plus green die. That's a green die. And a pickaxe for a plus blue die. So that's good. I, I recovered some of my weapon usage there. Should I use my energy drink? My last energy drink? <coughs> double your scavenge results? Of course. What's wrong with you? Well, I don't know if I needed More to use More resources it. for the end. Yeah, but you could pro- you'll probably draw a star when you draw your scavenge results anyways. You say this, and now I won't. You probably won't. So I get two bullets or I get two scavenge cards. Oh, that was a bad roll, Ann. That was really bad That was roll. bad. You're embarrassing. You're, you're embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Should we want cards or bullets? Probably bullets for you. I mean, Josh and I have six bullets. How many bullets do you have, Ann? Five. You know how many I had to spend on you last round so you didn't turn into a zombie? Enough. Okay, then. Enough. Good talk. All right, so now we fight the horde. Yeah, we're going to fight the horde, now. and we get to pick which survivors we want, right? All right, you look oh. at the, your actors that are remaining, the actors that are surviving, and each of you will essentially pick a we'll call it primary actor and a backup actor. Oh well, I can't do any of my special talents so, because I've used up all my things. So I want you want the assistant director. Yes. <clears throat> Why is that? Because I need to be hard hitting because I can't use. They use green dye, two greens and two blues. And I'm not going to be giving up my pool. That makes sense. Um, I would like at least one of the ones that allow you to change your die results. That would be nice. And I'll take Julie because Julie has the boom operator, so you can upgrade your two blues to two greens, and that's a very solid ability. Yep. All right. So I just can you give me one where I can change any roll result? Uh, Samex, sir. Okay. I'll take a, I'll take two sound mixers. So I'm going to play as, with Julie as my primary and then the sound mixer as the secondary. So now, how do we go about fighting this zombie horde, Michael? So, if you've chosen your, your primary, like I said, the backup is really only to be used if the primary does get zombified. Uh, but you've got that stack of horde zombies there. And really, the way this has been played is it, it's kind of, you know, your house rules, but we, we like to lay them all out, the rules set to lay them all out, and almost just you know, separate. All right, we'll give a third to you, a third to you, a third to you, uh, try to give some easy to some hard. Since you all have good fighters, you know, you're all pretty prepared, you all have lots of weapons, then you can all kind of take on the, 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 the tougher zombies. If you get to the end of the, the movie, and you're, that's a horde, and maybe the actors that are left over are some of the weaker fighters, and maybe only one of you has one or two good fighters, then maybe by delegating the tough zombies to that person, and the other people take on the weaker zombies with the weaker fighters. Uh, but really, it is completely up to you to make the decisions to delegate, and then uh, once you've kind of decided who's going to take on which zombie, it's just, uh, again, with the tower mechanic, it's kind of a, a free-for-all, Try to knock them out as quickly as you can, because you're still going to very likely be sharing dice. You can't all roll at once, and uh, you're working to just clear them out using whatever weapons and bullets you got. Extra powers. Very good, but we have to evenly distribute them, Michael, or? However you want. You do not have to, no. Okay. We and that's do. where, again, the tower mechanic would keep it from saying, 
well, there's one strong person, so we'll have him fight all 18 zombies. You wouldn't be able to do that Ooh, in the timer strategy. within the timeline. So you do want to be rolling, you know, consecutively or you know, simultaneously as much as possible. Right. We do happen to have nine horde zombies this round, so we may want yep. to decide to split it up by three. We've got three easy zombies, or th uh, three icon zombies. We have three, uh, four icon zombies, and we have the other three are two five icons and one six icon. So I can take on the six icon, and I'll take her on with the bus because I'm going to have the tanks because I'm a tank, uh, and then I will grab a four and a three. Whatever you want to do, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. You do you, boo boo. You do you. And the modifiers from the plot twist go away, correct? Yes. So we don't have to deal with those extra bats and explosions now. So I'm going to take this guy because I have the opportunity to roll a bunch of blue die. So I think I could kill him pretty easily. You want to take the double explosion guy because you can roll a lot of green dice? That works for me as well. And how about I take. I'll take yeah, this that yeah. other double explosion guy. So then you get these three. Okay. And so let's let's do it. Let's do it to it. So I'm going to go first. Okay. Because I'm a tank. No, uh, because I have all the dice in front of me. I'm hoarding the dice. So that and the green. I am yeah, going I to... The dice you need. I'm going to throw an additional blue on there for him. And an additional red. So I've got the hydrochloric acid and the pickaxe. And I'm attacking... I need another blue. So I need two axes and three bats. I've got all the axes. axes. All the axes. I don't have enough bats. I got all the axes, though. So I need two axes. I got that there. I'm going to re-roll. So I'm going to keep that green. So I'm going to re-roll everything else. Spend a bullet. So all I need is two bats. I got two a bats. double bat right there. Wow, and then three explosions. That's fine. So... Boop. He dead. Yep. So I get rid of my hydrochloric acid and my pickaxe. That goes away. I don't get to scavenge, but that one horde zombie is hostile to bye-bye. So, Anne, how about you? You want to go take the next one? <clears throat> sure. Uh, I need uh, three green... Uh, I need... I'm going to use my carnival hammer and my bus, and we're going to go after the six icon zombie, which, you know, really isn't that intimidating right now because we've already done two eights. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> That intimidating? That. That intimidating. I, do I want to use my green? There's lots of chances for explosions, but I don't need explosions. What I really need are bats and axes. So should I use my I think you should use green your blue. or my blue? I think two blue here would be I good. Think, I think blues are going to be good. Or you're going to use your school bus? Yeah, I'm going to use my school bus. You could use the blue and then get another blue die, and that might turn the tide in your favor. I don't think you need to play it safe with the school bus. I'm just saying. I'm going to die. That's going to be your fault. Okay, I'm going to use my shovel. Am I going to need my... No, because the that's the only one with two more bats. So I can use my blues here. Mm -hmm. All right, so my shears and my shovel. That's going to give me four blues and two greens. I think you're fine there. You say this. Sounds so, pretty safe. She's, oh, she's in card camp. Yeah, okay, put her perfect, in card camp perfect. for you. Thank you. Let's see what you get there. Double axes. Double, double bats. Axes. Double bats. Double bats. So These three are useless. You need just one axe and one bat. That's an axe and a... <coughs> no, you didn't roll that one. No. All right, so I'm re-rolling, and I'm re-rolling it all. Axe and a bat. Don't use that one. That was foolish. Oh, okay. So there you go. Axe and a bat. The floating invisible axe and a bat. So good. With those two there. So if you have so, an ex so trippy, so it's like a blue die. I'm like, wait, that's not a blue die. <laughs> there, is, is that, that is, is that, that better? better? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have destroyed that zombie, and I'm Yay! proud of you. Josh, it's your turn. What you killing this time? Uh, I'm gonna go after this triple axe and bat. Oh, oh, the one survivor that died. Oh, was that the one? Yeah, yeah, that's our one survivor that died. Actor. actor. Yeah, one one actor. So three axes and a bat is all you need. I will, I will fight him with an umbrella. He's got a shotgun and an umbrella. That's right. Two axes, two bats, an axe, a bat, you didn't and another even axe, an umbrella. And, and an explosion. Go on and go on and go. I think I, I, think I shoved the umbrella in him and then popped it open. 
That sounds like something that should be in a zombie movie. The hole right there. You yeah. shove the umbrella straight into the hole that's in his gaping chest wound. Just went flip. Boop. Yeah, there you go. I like it. That sounds like a really good like ending that's battle a, that's scene. That's a good a zombie, zombie scene. Movie. Yeah. So it's now it's all zombie gold. I'm attacking the fatal finalist here. Uh, so I'm going to eat a Twinkie. <laughs> And I am, I'm going to upgrade, so I'm going to be rolling three greens and a blue. And uh, I'm equipping also... Anything else? I'm going to equip my lawnmower, too. So I'm going to equip another green. So four greens and a blue die. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yep. four greens and a blue. To get three axes and two explosions. a little overkill. You got... Oh, you have your explosions. Yeah, yeah, I've got the explosions. So I've got you an axe... You three. I've got an axe and a bat. I've got an axe bat explosion. And I've got an axe. And then I've also got an explosion right here. So that's two explosions and three axes right there. There we go. Yep. There we go. Okay, so I, I killed him in a spectacular fashion there. And it's your turn. Who are you killing next? Okay, so I'm going to go after our fatal finalist next. Uh, that is two axes and two bats. Uh, I think I'm going to just use it. I'm going to use a green for the heck of it. For the halibut? For the halibut. Uh, I'll use Seems fishy. We have like 85 ones to choose from, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> he, so what are you using? The hammer and the scythe? I'm going to use the carnival hammer and the scythe. So that's a plus green and a plus blue. So I have three greens and three blues to roll. It's a lot of dice to get. <laughs> I, like how, I like how chat does not like my my umbrella description. Yes. <laughs> so I have, uh, there's three axes and a bat. I don't even need the three axes. And here are some more bats. And you know what? Just take some axes for the heck of it. I think that you did it. I think? Maybe? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say, uh, I'm gonna sure say yes. Are you sure you don't want to the bus? Oh, I don't want to. Listen, <laughs> this bus car, I'm so happy I have it. Josh, what are you, what are you t- fighting there? Uh, so you need to do two axes, a bat, and an explosion. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna line this up with the. the uh, I like how the baseball cue. is in his chest. It, like embedded into his chest. That's what I'm hitting with the pool, pool cue. Yeah, right at the baseball. All right, I got a uh, double axe. I got a uh, double this. Double I got a triple this. I got I got everything. Liz says it was unbelievable. <laughs> so I. Th- <laughs> <laughs> I I think you killed it. I think I did. I did think it? you did. Huh? Oh, yep. All right, so back to me. This is my last one. I've got an axe and two explosions. I'm going to eat another Twinkie. Of course you are. That's going to be my joke. <laughs> just, just though, at the just end, I still it. have my three sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking them off. Throughout the entire movie, you had your two sunglasses at some point and throughout the third. They never came off. <laughs> Uh, so, oh, I actually didn't do it. Look at what? I didn't get the second explosion. So I've got <laughs> one explosion. I've like the got easiest guy. An axe and a bat. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend a bullet. And how about, how about that? I got a double explosion and another bat. So, I done killed him. I like it. <laughs> I'm upset that I had to use a bullet, though. But... And you're going after this fatal finalist here. So two axes and an explodey. And I would like to use those two cards, Alex. Really? <laughs> a katana and a chainsaw? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go after... <laughs> it's only a little overkill, Ed. <laughs> With four green die and two blue die. This is so good. Okay, so this one almost does it by itself. <laughs> Still more axe. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't a spectacular roll, but there was just a lot of dice there. <laughs> so a lot of singles. Uh, that is enough. You you got three explosions, three axes, and two bats. So congratulations, you Thank killed you. that zombie. That was your last zombie, right? Yes, it was. And Josh, who are you fighting with your last zombie? Uh, I need three blues and a green die, please. You need two bats and, and an explosion. And I'm using my pitchfork on this one. You give him the old stabby stab? Stabby stab. I can appreciate that. Uh, I need two bats. I got three bats. Three bats and, and three explosions. explosions. Three bats and three explosions is greater than two bats and one explosion. 
So you blew this Actually, zombie up. That was the last horde zombie. Because mass. So we did We it? made a horrible zombie movie because one person died. Best zombie movie. <laughs> it was a bit of a snoozer. I kind of dozed off once or twice, I think. But <laughs> He missed the scene with the bread. That's what you get for falling asleep. <laughs> You know that's accurate. That that's how it goes. So we so were the, uh, we were successful. The that just it's it's designed to, for the most part, if you've been you know at all successful in acquiring the the occasional extra weapons along the way, it's it's meant to be. I'll say in that sense, more about the timer causing you concern than, as you saw, most of those zombies you were prepared for. You had the weapons. You barely touched your bullets. So it, it, the the question of can we make sure we get through them before they're typed up? Because if you make it through three locations, you know, the horde is just that grand finale to hack and slash your way to the end. But, uh, yeah. yeah. All right. So the, the timer definitely plays a, uh, a bigger aspect in the horde finale there uh, than yeah. the rest of the parts of the game. Uh, so there is kind of like a, a star mechanic at the end of the game, correct? That tells you how well you did in making your zombie movie. Correct. So, can you explain that to us a little bit? So, obviously, the important thing is that you survived. You, you lived to, you know, edit the film, put it together, get it out to whoever wants to watch it. Um, so, the, the winning of the game, you know, the defeating of the horde is step one. But right. uh, now the question is, you know, how are the critics going to receive your movie? So, it's a question of what has happened during the movie, and so it boils down to how many character, how many actors did you have uh, you know, succumb to the horde during the film? And in your case, you guys had one actor, right? Well, you lost one person. Yes. Yep. So you're playing a three-player game, which means you started with 12 people in that deck. So now your your total actor deck should be an 11 instead yep. of 12. And so you can reference the chart in the, uh, the back of the book there. And so essentially, since you had so few casualties, even though you have, I mean, you, beating the game, defeating the horde means you shot the movie and can produce it, but having 11 of your 12 actors still available, it's like, okay, so one person died the entire movie? Eh, sounds good. So that actually comes out as a two-star rating out of five. So you almost did, you did too well to produce an exciting, you know, gripping movie where there's deaths involved in the movie. We made a B-rate movie. We made a, a bad B-rated movie. A bad B-rated movie. Yeah, probably a bad B-rated Well, I don't know. There's, there's good B-rated movies that probably get ranked two stars if you look, look out there. I, I mean, we'll get into... There we go. There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> so we've got ourselves a uh, three-player game with 11 yep. to 12 remaining actors. So it is a two-star movie. Yep. Listen, I, we'll get into more of it in the review section. There's, there's, there's a lot of good stuff going on in this game. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so, uh, Michael, is there anything about this game that you wanted to uh, to make sure that you mentioned uh, that we didn't get yes. a chance to maybe touch on during our playthrough here? Um, I mean, prior to the playthrough is when we discussed that with the Kickstarter going live tomorrow, we uh, do have slots available to be in the game uh, as both an actor or uh, a zombie. Uh, and as an actor, you have a zombie on the back included. Um, but, I mean, you guys pretty much saw what the game has to offer. Uh, uh, like I said, the locations, there's a lot to choose from that I like, think gives it some uh, more replayability, and the timer mechanic adds that little bit extra uh, to the intensity of the die rolling. Uh, but I think what you guys did is great, too, because the very first time you play this game, you probably don't want to hassle the timer just if you want to get used to what the die rolls are, and like you were discussing, like which die is the better die if you're looking for two bats. So that takes a little bit of familiarity before you're going to really be comfortable making those decisions on the fly and under the uh, you know, influence of a timer. But no, I, mean, I think that's, that's the game. You guys showed it off really well. Thank you. Thank you. So um, how many of these locations are actually going to be included in the game uh, at the end? So I believe right now our number, I'm going to just go cheap, look it up. Our number is at 18, but uh, we have plans for some other ones to be included as well. And uh, they're just really, hopefully, going to be easy stretch goals to hit. What? Very cool. Liz and Kurt hit on one of our unofficial taglines. Which is? Comfort board games, safe and bad humor. 
<laughs> and uh, that's, you know, you guys have the sense of humor down pat in this game. I like it. I like appreciate it. it. Any other points before we say uh, goodbye to Michael? Chris? We could do that. Uh, what are you guys have, I'm guessing, your Kickstarter levels figured out as far as pricing? Right. So uh, what we're offering uh, is the copy of the game itself. Uh, just the game will be a 35, mm -hmm. and okay. that will actually include shipping. So no, no, no shipping, free shipping to the uh, uh, continuous, continuous U.S. But then the other levels are the levels that uh, can get you into the game at various degrees. And the two we talked about uh, were the ones that get you as a zombie in the game. Mm -hmm. And what we're including with that, too, is if you buy a, a slot for being a zombie in a game, we will actually send you specifically an actor card as well, just for your game. So we'll okay. make up one of these guys with the front and the back with your zombie, because your zombie's going to be made because it's in the game, in every game. And we will send this along as well as your actor that you can play in your game specifically. That's so cool. That. Uh, but that's one level, and then the other level, which is like a little more limited, the slots available, was the level four being an actor with the zombie in the back that in, in every game. And the other one that we haven't mentioned is that with this game and packaged with it, we're going to be including essentially a part of the rule book about a 40-page graphic comic. Oh, wow. And just really embodying the, the traveling through all the locations as these uh, actors are taken out uh, taking out the zombies. And so we actually have, yeah, there's a couple of the uh, sample pages included in that uh, book I sent you. And uh, yeah, so you can actually uh, be one of the zombies that we feature uh, in one of the uh, cells, one of the pages of the comic as well. That's really cool. This was, this was neat. There was, uh, sorry, you got to show that bottom picture off because that makes me so <laughs> That's that's mildly disturbing. That's so the, good. The reanimated Waldo, yes. yes. You see a better day. Yes. I like it. This is awesome. Uh, Michael, we have had an absolute blast having you on the show tonight. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and hang out with us and showing us your game. We had a really great time tonight. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. All right, so everyone stay tuned. We're going to be uh, doing a soft sign-off for now and going into our honest review section where we talk about what we liked about the game, what might not have been our favorite parts, and then how we would change them if given the opportunity. Uh, but for now, this is going to be Twist Gaming signing off for now. I'm Matt. I'm Anne. I'm Josh. And thank you again, Michael. We really do appreciate you joining us this evening. We had a lot of fun. Thank you as well. I did have had a blast too. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.